Hello, 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 and welcome to today's stream. Wowie wow. Oh my gosh. I hope you all are having a fantastic, wonderful October. I hope it's all the spookums that you guys have been looking for. And uh, if you couldn't tell today, I am very excited because we are continuing our horror D&D game into the world of Anacrux. That's right, guys. They all came back. All of our wonderful, amazing, beautiful players. Uh, they're back, baby. That's right. You got Bree Bun, Lawman. You got Cricket. You got Strippin. It's it's uh it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a fun time today, guys. Session two of four. We're already at the mid-season finale. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Uh, if you guys weren't here last week, uh, first of all, go back and check out that VOD. It was an amazing session. Everyone did an absolutely like wonderful job. Uh, but for those that are brand new here, uh, Anarchrox is a horror D&D world that takes a lot of inspiration from uh, things like the Cthulhu mythos, a uh, little Shimagami you guys noticed there, and just uh, in general, you know, a little darker, a little darkest dungeon, uh, a little bit of horror just sprinkled all around. Um, so again, if you haven't seen the first episode, make sure you guys go. The VOD is still there. Check it out. It happened last Wednesday. Um, and yeah, give it, give it a watch. And if you are here from last week oh boy what a first session you know what i mean what an amazing fantastic first session so we're gonna go ahead uh and dive on in with the continuation of everything let me go ahead and say uh hello H -h hello to everyone hi guys hello hello hi hello how y'all how y'all doing Sounds great. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Awesome. Fantastic. Fine. Yeah. Good. <laughs> are you? Are is everything? Everything? Everything okay from uh, from last session? Are you guys feeling? I have emotional scars. I have I'm... literal scars from being <laughs> killed. I have neither emotional scars, neither real scars. <laughs> That's right. We had a, a couple of people uh, downed last session. Is that uh, is that correct? About what does anyone want to recall, recap this scene we're looking at right now? Uh, with you all gathered around a uh, an ogre of a man who has fallen over. One um, uh, um, Oscar who has just finally uh, gotten back up. I'm assuming Nora, you healed him. I did, yeah. I believe I used mending, and he got two HP. It was really great. Oh, awesome. I'm on. I mean, I'm on the verge of death. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Mort, uh, Morton, who is who was dead, uh, wakes up and is holding the cleaver that killed him, and looking at it, kind of staring at it, thinking like, I shouldn't be around right now. Right. What am I doing here? Is this real life? Uh, and also mine now on the thing that killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Cleaver. Um, so yeah, you're, you're, you're kind of holding on to this like big, huge, like jagged hook. Um, I also want to, uh, let you guys know because you are conjoined with your other selves that you mm -hmm. have, um, as far as like proficiencies go, quote unquote, um, everyone is sort of like proficient with everything. So f feel free to mix and match items that you find along the way. Um, if certain things work for you, even though it might not fulfill your quote unquote class archetype, but you feel like it would still be beneficial overall, don't be afraid. You, you, everyone- I would need that hook, Kraken. <laughs> As the rogue, all right. <laughs> Two-hander. We're gonna give you the hook if you don't shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there he is. That's that, that's our boy. Um. So yeah, uh, yeah. Morton kind of has just like blacked out for what was a, a second time today, and uh, it's just when you do, that's exactly what happens. You kind of just awaken 
you grab your arm that, that you thought you recalled that this giant ogre of a man like ripped off and just threw over and it, it, it still seems to be there it still seems to be intact your heart is literally racing uh right now but you're you're up you're you exactly what you said you found the hook that was on uh blood hook and you're holding on to it right now you're even though you've you've quote unquote have have fallen you know have died a, a couple of times now you feel like you know one more and that that might be it you're you're definitely not oh, invincible I thought you were gonna say one more uh you know i've been there before what's another one you oh, it's know? another <laughs> one no you're like into the crypts it, it one fe- more it feels it feels like you, you you felt like you just like recovered from like a heart attack and your heart is still racing you know, anxiety and dread kind of kind of have, have filled you a little bit you know what i mean but you're 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 calming down you're taking a, a couple of breaths you're you're finally just <sighs> okay so um same exactly um oscar you know you just you just got up you maybe you're coughing mm. a little bit you know how, how how are you feeling right now after you see nora kind of rush over and, and heal you a little bit i've got a pound and headache visions are still a bit blurry uh i remember getting thwumped and uh i guess they took care of it because because here he is the man of mystery that whooped my ass <laughs> um yeah he's he's, he's kind of i mean i i don't know at this point like i don't think he's looking to die per se but like this whole adventure feels like he's already dead almost mm-hmm. it's kind of it's still pretty surreal and you're just fighting uh, with like these weird i mean nature like powers this creature isn't yeah he's never seen a creature like this before either so mm-hmm. yeah he's definitely definitely confused you definitely know scratching the, the temple a little bit that's actually a good observation um and that is something to definitely bring up to the to the four of you you know creatures mm-hmm. like this are you know, you play like a dungeon, you know, when you're in like a world of Dungeons and Dragons, you, you hear le- legends of creatures like this. Um, you've never heard or seen a man like this before. Ever. So this is definitely something that's very much out of the ordinary for, for all of you. So. Um, yeah. Uh, p- 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 match. How you feeling, bud? Yeah. <laughs> well, just stabbed a big guy. <laughs> it was uh, it was no problem at all. And I saw my friends get ripped to shreds. Also, wasn't no problem at all. I've seen that many times. Not like that before, but uh, you know, <laughs> what's a little bit is a little bit of that. <laughs> Got a golden tooth from him though. Wonder what I can sell this for. He just kind of oh, that's right. You like he went into his mouth with like a oh, knife, God, and we're just that. like I forgot about that. Yeah, and you just pulled out a, a, a just a golden tooth. You pocketed it, you know. Hey, if you get out of this alive, maybe that'll be worth something. Might, maybe not right now, but I mean, definitely maybe later. I've added it to my inventory already. All right, this okay. is mine. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Close my the tooth. hands up. <laughs> my, my tooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Jesus gonna ruin God. your fucking voice doing that, yeah. dude. I've been there, okay. I know what it's like. Um, Nora, how are how are you feeling with all of this? You you've been kind of like, you know, the, the 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 nun with the flask. How how, how are you yeah. handling this right now? Relieved we were able to somehow get through that, but honestly, truly scrutinizing that entity's choice in us, because <laughs> it seems like we barely barely escaped that uh that encounter so Mm -hmm. she's kind of like doubting why this like entity chose us and made a deal with us to come back and take care of these things right well i guess we'll find out more the uh the crypt calls for you from what you understand from the 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 entity (laughs) hello (laughs) just come come on down Here, it's me, Crypty! Crypty! Why do you guys call me Mickey Mouse? Well, the Come on! Come on! Open mouth! Come on! Open mouth! 
<laughs> well, oh, I am I am terrified. Uh, so, yeah, uh, from what you understand from the collector, uh, the cult that is trying to revive the forgotten god Yugoloth it has resided in the crypt and it also apparently appears to be where the blood bandits are are currently hiding as well um no matter what happens uh you, everything that you need is is pretty much down there in the depths of Ghoulcrest crypt so with that what do you guys do i think we need a long rest if possible yeah <laughs> Well, where do you? Gonna, well, I don't you, know if we can take a long rest. Uh, I know you, we're not exactly in a great. Can we like lay in some graves and just pretend to be dead? Oh, <laughs> well, from what? That'd be great for our stress levels. Um, <laughs> you wake up, you're just yeah. really stressed. Uh, well, from uh, well, from what you, what the collector sounds like, uh, from what they said, you are in a bit of a time limit. A long rest mm. may not be possible at this moment. All right. But a short rest. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. a short rest. Yeah. Oh, that's no. one. Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what a I mean, Yeah, if, I mean, I think the logical step is to take a short rest. If we're not allowed to take a short rest, I guess we would, we would press on. Yeah. Well, so as you guys would, are kind of like looking around, trying to figure out a nice place where you can take a, just a breather, you still mm -hmm. realize that the... The graveyard is crawling with blood bandits, and that That's great. any any short rest out here will definitely may may threaten um, the blood bandits marching onto you guys. So it's up. Right. It's it's you can take the risk, but you may gotcha. not get, you may not get the short rest. Okay. Maybe we can rest in the crypt. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was attempted at sarcasm by Morton. I don't know if it uh, came out. No, yeah, uh... <laughs> sure, sure did it. <laughs> this thing came from the crypt. What makes you say that? Because it came out of the crypt. <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I thought it was already here. I know it did. It walked, it, walked, out of the doors. it walked out of the doors in the crypt. Yeah, you're right. It did come out of the crypt. I remember hey, now. If you, if you guys are looking to uh, take a little sleep, I'll, I'll keep an eye. I'll keep an eye out. I'll watch. I'll watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'll, I don't, I'll, I'll no offense, coming. but I don't trust you at all. <laughs> little rat. I could man. also help. What are you talking watch. about? You are a despicable human, and you just said earlier. You were part of these bandits. I, well, that's uh, that was not, that's all part of my past. <laughs> You're judging me too harshly, friend. And I'll come up and and put a, a hand on the shoulder. Yeah, I, I'm a good guy. Listen, you gotta get to know me. <laughs> I, I, I could be a good part of the team. I'd uh, rather they didn't come to that. But, me, you know, I think we're kind of stuck with each other either way. So, Oscar, he's injured, he's leaning over, he kind of like gestures at Match and has the group. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead, I think. Yeah, yeah, and I, I'll tip my hat again. Yeah. Oscar's You're alright right in my book. Alright. You guys lead the way. I, uh, I'm tired of dying. <laughs> he sits back <laughs> down with his cleaver and just kind of waits for them to make a decision. Are you going to just wave that from the back? He gestures to the cleaver. I mean, I'll be there when I'm needed. I just, I'm just so tired. I can imagine the agonizing tiredness of youth. I've literally died twice, dude! <laughs> <laughs> no one knew! Stifles laughter. <laughs> Boomer jokes, you know what I'm saying, gamers? Waka waka. Don't call me a gamer, dude. Alright, I'm in character. Alright, alright. Old man. Thanks. 
Thanks. That was Thank a upsetting character, by the way. If you, if you guys want to take a, a rest out here or in the crypt, uh, I'll keep you covered. I feel great. I'm feeling good. Hmm. Why don't we just take a peek <coughs> inside the crypt? Well, I'm gonna, assess. I'm gonna sit right here for a minute. <laughs> I don't feel too great. Oscar just kind of like flops over. Your watch is welcome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll and be right here watching the south. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on Matt right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take a rest. Uh, okay. Or a short rest. Wait, are we doing? Are we in the crypt? We're in no, the, we're, no, we're outside. outside. Yeah, okay. we're attempt to take a short rest outside the crypt. All, All right. right. Um, I can heal people's stress. I don't know how bad everyone's stress is. I'm saying this out of character. I did, yeah, I don't know. I was dead for some of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I, mean, I, could, I could also save that. It's a two d six stress healing. Um. So currently, um, Nora's at five stress. Yeah. Uh, Morton is at two stress. Okay. Um, Match is at two stress, and Oscar is at two stress. We're fine. 20 stress is the the first quote unquote breaking point okay well, and if we you got this. and if you get to 40 stress uh you risk having a heart attack and dying wow because you're just wow. so fucking stressed out so wait 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 morton's at the same stress as me uh yeah he's been making his wisdom saves to keep him his himself under control stress and ptsd could be different things True, true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One is called stress disorder. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I, I rescind my statement. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you guys do during your short rest? Uh, try to heal. Oh, also, uh, one thing I forgot to point out, uh, and I'm sorry, uh, Morton. Uh, your armor is damaged is. Oh. because it suffered a critical hit. Okay, is that Lord Macy? <laughs> yes, by one. Oofy. Fun, fun, fun. Is there? There is a way to repair your armor. In fact, the blacksmith has a, an ability that they can use once per short rest. Mm -hmm. I'll while while we're resting, I'll look at my armor and I'll say. Damn, it's all broken. Does anyone know how to patch this together? Yeah, I do. <laughs> God. I'll fix, ignore him. <laughs> I'll fix that up for you when we got a minute. What are you talking about? I, well, we have a minute ahead. right now, don't we? While we're taking a break. I need a longer minute. What, you, you do? I don't think that's true. Is that true, DM? <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me. I'm not here. Ooh. I'm pretty sure he can do it right now. Actually. Uh, so, Oscar. I'm pretty sure I can't do it right now. So, Oscar, you have you have two blacksmith abilities. Um, I do. One allows you to mend one um, durability point. Yeah. Per a, long rest. Per long rest. That is correct. Mm -hmm. So you're going to hold on. You're going to just in case you're going to hold on to that. That's actually very smart. But the other well, one is he needs blacksmith's tools to actually like an actual like anvil and stuff like that to repair uh, your armor. Mm. But he can't have that. Correct. But he could do it um, in 30 minutes instead of the usual hour it takes to repair equipment. So every hour or so if we, short. you know, let's say we go in the crypt and we come across a spooky anvil. Right. Uh, he can do it in 30 minutes. Correct. Cool. All mm -hmm. right, good to know. Yep, so yep. I'll, on my character sheet, I'll just remove my AC by one. Uh, yep. Turn it. Okay. Uh, what? How much AC does your armor give you? Uh, da, 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 other self. Currently, I am at 16. Okay. So I'll do 16 minus one, uh, just so I know it's temporary. Okay. And for the weapon that I got, should I add two to my strength if I'm equipping it? 
Uh, if you're equipping it, yes, it's called Blood Hooks Hook. It gives you. So do I, do I, I type that in myself? Like I make this a custom weapon? I'm not really uh, sure. How. Yeah, you can type in yourself. I can type it in for you. Whatever you feel most comfortable with. Um, if you don't. I don't mind. Uh, I don't, oh, yeah. mind. If you don't mind typing it. That would. Yeah. That way, sure. chat gets to see. Chat gets to see everything. Go. Yeah. Smile. Blood hooks <clears throat> a hook. It is. Let me just do this real quick. Has has attack. There we go. Has, has attack. Has attack. It is a 2d6 plus one weapon. And that's that's all there is to it. And I think that uh, as the attack, uh, there, there it is. Boom. And then the only thing I'm going to change on this is it, it's a plus one weapon. So I'll do 2d6 plus one and to hit plus one one boom and it gives you uh two strength which I know you can adjust in the properties here but since you're mm -hmm. equipped in did you already change your strength or no I have not changed it yet okay well now you have an 18 strength all right I'm as much as the druid <laughs> I had 18 straight before I was a druid with a snapper. All right, from years. Yeah, settle down. <laughs> on the forge. Uh, so with the short rest, uh, how much is? I'm assuming people are spending their hit dice. Just yes. so, just so you guys know, you actually have uh, two hit dice. You have a d6 and whatever your class's uh, hit dice is. Okay. For spending. Um, I okay. will spend both because I believe I'm at one health. Um, yeah, sounds good. I will do the same. All right, uh, go ahead and roll, and then let me know. What is what a druid hit dice? Is it d6? Uh, d8. I don't know what you guys are even saying right now. I'll be honest. We're healing, so I roll one d6. Yield six. And then a D eight. Uh, that's that's a, not good. And then a one. Uh, my God. Oh, no, that was not me. That's one else. That was me. You, 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 you got a two. Uh, Kraken, you're at nine hit points. Oscar, you are at. I was at two, so. And now you're at three. No. <laughs> no, well, you're, you, you, you got just, five, so you you're, just, you're, you're Oh, yes, I just seven. saw. Oh, sorry. I saw you roll a one. So that's why I was confused. Oh, the four. Is, I see the other hiding four. things again. Oh, no, you got okay. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. I'm just, I'm blind. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just, uh, I can't see. Hey. Open your eyes. I, I got an idea. I'm going to slip. I, I, I'm going to slip the uh, vine heart from my greasy vest pocket. <laughs> and I'm gonna cast entangle on the gap to the south and like block that up. Oh, smart boy! There you go. Look at this guy. I get. I. I, I guess this is what the entangle is gonna look like. Here you go. So kind of yeah, you kind of just have it. Uh, just all these vines just entangle around yeah. the south right there. Look at you. Smart, smart. I uh, turn around to Nora and give a big greasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great match. Good thinking. Uh, rolling a smell check. Yes, the the body is beginning to rot. That was quick. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. It begins to smell a little bit after an hour, but during the hour. Uh, nothing. The the bandits kind of keep themselves, and you are able to rest successfully. In addition, uh, for short rests, just because I'm such a nice guy, uh, you are able to replenish one of your spell slots per short rest. Oh my God! Hell yeah, poggers. <laughs> uh, I did you say that in character? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> totally, dude. No. I'm gonna kill wounds myself. I thought <laughs> you were like, I'm gonna kill Nora. <laughs> Wait, how, how much no. health did you? How much I would not be shot. How much health did you get, Morton? Uh, I got like eight, I think total. 
Okay, maybe I'll just I'll just save it for now. I have nine right now. No doubt to stabilize the next victim. Yeah, but like we're all one hit from death. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. All right. Feels the healing energies return to him, but Oscar decides to keep it. He keeps it a secret. Feels like, <laughs> he feels like he can. He feels like he can walk. He's good enough to go in the crypt. And the, honestly, the smell is making him want to go into the crypt anyway, just to avoid it. All right. So, what do you guys do now after your short rest? Yeah. <laughs> we should probably head inside. Takes a deep smell. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nora is gonna reach for her thigh flask, take another sip, and uh, trudge forward. All right. Oscar creaks at the rear. Uh, I'll I'll go behind Nora. Okay. Uh, you guys descend down the stairs over to uh, what appears to be a crypt. The uh, the floor is covered in granite. And you are immediately uh, greeted by a tall, demonic-like statue with wings uh, covered and soaked in blood. Cool. Surely that's not an omen at all. How fresh is this blood? Uh, it looks it looks pretty dried. Okay. Oscar gives it a little touch. Pretty. Is bordering on the unsticky, crusty element. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, a voice can be heard in uh, each of your head. It's the voice of the collector, and it states, um, "Any items you find of interest, bring to me, and I shall be sure to give you a boon of power." to help you on this quest. Uh, uh, Morton kind of hangs out the back of the group. <laughs> Are you <laughs> hugging the weapon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm bound by blood to this thing, unfortunately. I'm not going to let go. I turn away from the group and pat my vest where the heart is and <laughs> like a a thing that only happens in fucking movies like a, exactly a, classically <laughs> just go and tell them what can I can I roll to see if I notice that blatant thing he just did <laughs> please oh uh, yeah, yeah go see, for it I'm go do, for I'm it I'm doing it with sleight of hand uh perception or uh yeah make a perception check and I like okay. I like that yeah sleight of hand's perfect Seven, oh, buddy. You're you're still hazed over recent deaths, and uh, oh, but <laughs> Nora, <laughs> Nora, it, like a like a hawk, a mother's eye, if you will. Oh. Uh, well, I was gonna say like you know you got that hip floss thing going. It's a similar body movement. That's true. I got sleight of hand <clears throat> vibe going on. All right, true, true. You you're not the only one with secrets. It's not. What the oh. fuck? Clark? <laughs> Please put your baby on mute. <laughs> it's not my baby, guys. My baby's asleep. Then <laughs> who was phone? Then <laughs> who's baby? I'm baby. So we oh see my three, God. three doorways, Brett. Uh, yes, you do. Uh, you see to the north, uh, stone stairs that descend down further into the crypt, um, with a path also to the left uh, and to the right of you. The sound you just heard echoes throughout the entire crypt. And we can't distinguish where it came from. Uh, you can attempt a perception check. I will attempt a perception Oh yeah, old bitches be smart, you know? <laughs> High five, Oscar. Sheesh. Oh my god, you crit again. I know, dude, I fuck? can't stop. Um, well, it appears to have resonated from both the left and right side. Hmm. 
right. suggesting that uh, there are multiple paths that may lead to the same area. Okay. Uh, with your perception, however, you hear the sound of uh, like a soothing uh, water to the north. Hmm. Okay. So with that, what do you do? Match comes over and picks up this rock. Match now has rock. Match brings rock over here and throws it down the stairs. <laughs> oh <my God>. Match. <laughs> How could you? Oh, so I'm listening. I'm listening to it tumble. I'm listening to see if anything makes any noise in the room, and I will do that with a. Smarter uh, than the average perception. rat. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> What'd you get? Oh That's no! <laughs> I threw a rock down the hallway and went and put my ear to it and just. Eh? <laughs> you talked a, over the noise. A bottomless pit! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, anyone else want to make a perception to the to the sound of the rock? To help uh, our 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 dear match out. There you go. Flex his ears. Um, Oscar, you hear the rock kind of like tumble down some stone stairs. Um, and then it hits against something metallic that kind of echoes, it resonates a little down there. Mm. Hit something metallic down the stairs. Shiny? <laughs> Uh, at that point, you see Match immediately rush downstairs. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I was just gonna follow. Oh, Match keeps going. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, Match, you w walk into a small uh, meditation room. Uh, you see a fountain uh, pouring some water and it has a uh, uh, barely lit campfire and an anvil. Woo! It's a risk calling down here. If only we had uh, rested here. <laughs> <laughs> I drink water. The water is refreshing and cool. Uh, Match, mm. I don't know if it's safe to drink crypt. Oscar water. drinks the water too. I look over right. with, my, with water weird. falling from my mouth and go, eh? Yeah, what's in here? What, what's the problem? Um. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, you feel so comfortable here. Uh, you believe that uh, taking a rest here will further <laughs> heal you. Long rest. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Oscar motions. Wait, he looks around. Morton's not there. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Oh. He yells up the stairs. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm coming. Sorry. Uh, I was just staring at this statue. Something not right about it. Oh, take your breastplate off. Oh, well, you're gonna buy me. No, it's not the time. I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna tempt the joke. Wasn't really feeling up to it. Didn't think he'd pull off the delivery. Decided to take off the breastplate. <laughs> um, Oscar and uh, Match. From drinking the waters, you've restored your um H your your the hit dice needed for uh healing for short rests. Okay. Nice. I was full health. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want something grumble, else? Grumble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What the heck? Can I use five? the uh can I use the hit dice I just got? <laughs> Cause I'm needing it. Uh if you take another short rest, yeah. I assumed we were gonna, because I'm gonna repair stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's fine by me. Sounds good. Um, so after an hour, uh, let's see what you roll for your short rest healing. Do do we get the one d six back or both? Both. Hey, I rolled a one and a two. Nice. Uh, you're currently at. 
Imagine ten. using four hit dice and not getting max health at level one. <laughs> and, and ten HP. Um, after the yeah. hour of short rest, you also um restore another spell slot. Nice. I I get six more. Uh, yep. You're at fifteen health. Match tries All to right. pick up the anvil. It is it is heavy. Roll a. Sorry. Uh, go ahead and roll a um, uh, strength check. I, my brain died there. You 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 you, you strain yourself from uh, trying to lift the anvil. I think this is one of those collect items. We gotta <laughs> give this to the collector. Uh. Oscar puts oh, a, a me hand on his chest and pushes him aside and lays down the breastplate on the anvil. <laughs> Did he just take my shirt and try to pawn it off? No, he tried to take the anvil. Yeah, oh, Max the thought the anvil was an item to be that's collected. Nice Literally trying to take everything that's... Yeah, yeah just like drag it into the next down. room. Like just, All it's like 10 glistens. feet away. Drags it right back. <laughs> yeah. uh, I will uh, begin repairs on this breastplate. All right, I'm bringing it back into place. Um, you in the short rest of an hour, uh, you're able to restore up to two durability points. Since only one durability point of damage was dealt to the the breastplate, to restore it back to its good as new full order. After about thirty minutes of just ding, ding, you uh you hear the hammer settle down and. Oscar shuffles to his feet and he tosses the breastplate across the room at you. Uh, can I try to catch it by rolling? I don't think I'm. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch. It. Uh, it's my dexterity. Ooh, ooh! It, you like kind of your like hands open and the breastplate like it doesn't even touch you. It literally falls down to the ground. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Oscar. Um, <clears throat> and he gave it, puts it on. I was and, gonna say, uh, take better care of it, but I, I will. You know, I learned a lot from dying that one time. Didn't learn how to catch though. Turns around back to the anvil. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that wasn't part of dying. Actually, <laughs> did not get. Anyway, I'll just put it back on. So, um, uh, Morton, did you drink some of the water? Because I noticed you, you healed the, uh... Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Sorry, I, did. I should have said that. No, no, you're good. You're good. Um, so after Morton drinks some water, uh, you guys kind of check, look over the fountain again. And, you know, it definitely is a little more emptier than it was before. It seems this this fountain's restorative properties have some limit to it. Hmm. No. All right. What do you do now? Well, if there's nothing we're turning into the old skeleton statue, <laughs> guess we should head further in. Guess so. Better figure out what those cries were. Oh, yeah, the baby. Almost forgot. Something tells me it's probably not a baby. Yeah. Mother's baby intuition. Blood, baby. I don't know what could have given you that idea. Oscar starts shuffling up the stairs. Oh. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you guys head back up to the sort of like the entrance, the, the atrium of the crypt. Where do you go now? To the left or to the right? Always follow the right wall, right? Works for me. Pretty sure they lead to the same place anyway. Probably. It sounds like it. We kind of determined where what direction it came from. Uh, yeah, it's coming from both directions. I thought we already determined. Oh, did we? Yeah, because it, it's good. I was gonna say Oscar's a moment of confusion because you said always hug the right wall and then went left. It's our original um, right, old man. <laughs> Keep up. But he follows. Um, <laughs> he didn't make that connection. 
as you walk uh, down this hall, uh, you kind of see broken parts of the granite floor. You can only assume where Bloodhook was stomping through to, to get up uh, to the surface. Uh, you also hear chatter uh, from deep in. Do you continue? What kind of chatter? I sneak forward. Uh, <laughs> make oh, a st- make a stealth roll. Uh, yeah. It's 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 a it's a conversation. Okay. You have to get a little closer. How close do I get? Oh I'm no! I mean, like... you're. I mean, match. You're. You're mm-hmm. in. Yeah. So hold on. You probably want to stay by that. Uh, that gravestone. Yeah. While I reveal some stuff. Maybe behind it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe behind it. Good. Uh. Yeah. That's a. That's a 19 stealth. So you. Yeah. You. You like kind of like slowly walk over. Let me just go ahead and. Oh. Match like crawls forward, hands and feet, and like surprisingly makes no sound approaching this and you're you know you're all kind of surprised that this breathy creepy rat man is actually pretty good at uh you know oscar isn't surprised (laughs) you you very clearly have a singular set of skills (laughs) and you're executing them to perfection (laughs) um so as you as you begin to approach, you see there are three blood bandits, and they're 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 talking to each other. Um, as the cry the baby. as the cry echoes through the hall, you just see one of them just cover his ears in a in a frustrated expression. Will someone shut that damn kid up? Whose wise idea was it to kidnap a baby? I haven't been able to get any sleep all day. No. All night. I turn around and put up three fingers to the rest of the group. Listen, we were told to go ahead and take anyone that has the mark on their face. That's what that wacky cult wanted. And to kill the rest of them. But we still should have taken a baby. And that's the, that's the conversation. What do you do? I'm, I'm holding up three and like, and if that's not enough, I'll take my other hand and point to the three. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar just fucking shrugs like, what the fuck do you want me to do about it? <laughs> and I wave them in like, come on. Uh, oh, <laughs> all right. Well, I guess if I see him waving me in, I'll try to stealth up to him as well. Oh yeah, I guess we should all do stealth, huh? I'll get yeah. to like here. Yeah. Um, Yikes! Let me roll. <laughs> yeah, Oscar's not stealthing. He just keeps his head around the corner and he <laughs> waits guy. for him to initiate. Um, <laughs> he's, as got, he's fucking shuffling. Oh, man. I actually rolled well too. God damn it! <laughs> damn it, Nora! As she uh, slow. She's kind of thrown off because baby, you know. Because baby. Because baby. <laughs> um. So yeah, as you are walking, you kind of like step on a rock that just kicks off and echoes uh, down the whole hall. Uh, immediately, uh, they all turn over to you and they're like, what was that? And uh, everyone roll initiative. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Probably my bad for waving you in. <laughs> yeah. Come yeah, on come in, on, it's fine. fine. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, can I come have on, my I can back? It. it disappeared. Wait, what? I was... Yeah, I had it. It came up on turn order and then it disappeared. Oh, uh, uh, oh, to die a third time. I did. Uh, go ahead and roll initiative again. Sorry about that. I I deleted <sighs> everything. <believe> this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Give me my nineteen. I want my nineteen. I like this song. Thank you. Did you make it? <laughs> no, I picked it myself. Oh, then. Why am I thanking you? Oscar but roll initiative? You're, you're not thank. Yeah, I said, my, uh, I thanked you. <laughs> you're welcome. You vanished. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't asking for thanks. thanks. Uh, all right. Let me get everyone's initiative roll. Uh, oh, whoops. My bad. Let me try that again. Whoop. 
and boom. Uh, uh, descending. Okay, Nora, you're first. Uh, taking full responsibility for the fact that she is the reason they have been discovered. Nora is going to take a step forward. And without any hesitation, she is going to witch bolt this guy. Okay. Do they look any what different? The or they all look... Uh, their blood is definitely ha has been, uh, dried. So they're not as damp as they were before. Love rolling a four, by the way. Uh, you rolled a one. You didn't roll a four. Uh, love rolling a one, by the way. <laughs> love rolling you crit a one. twice and crit failed once. That's Listen, crazy. I can only succeed or lose. There's <laughs> two modes. Um, so yeah, your magic just kind of crackles and you like lose control of it. How do how do you how do you fail, Nora? Tell me. How do tell I critically me. fail? Yeah. Um, as I'm taking a step forward, I'm unable to steady myself and. I fling out my hand in desperation at the idea that they have a child kidnapped. It hits way clo too close to home, uh, and I just fire it at the wall on accident right over here. Mm -hmm. Well, good news is you can do 12 damage a turn to that wall. That's right. <laughs> Does it have to be like if you don't hit the first one, it's done? You can't. Um. Also, I need you to make a... Witch bolt. Uh, well, the witch bolt, yeah, the spell slots say it is expended, so... Um, no, it's it, a cantrip, isn't it? No, it's no, level one spell. Oh, that's not, Eldritch. But uh, it does the thing where if it's within, I thought it was like within a minute, you can cast it again. Uh, that's if you land the hit. Okay, gotcha. That's what I was asking. Okay, go And ahead. please roll a wisdom save. The critical cool miss is, is quite a stressful blunder. 24. All right, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> like so, I said, let's look at some, some bronze. Two modes. <laughs> um, you still take one point of stress That's fine. for missing. You're at six stress, so yes, your 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 heart's beating a little bit right now. Um, the bandit pulls out its bow, ready to shoot, and uh, he kind of feels a little. Like a little dizzy, you just kind of you kind of see him. He she shakes his head a little bit. He he lets out a cough, and uh, and then shoots uh shoots his shot over at oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just, we're just gonna psychoanalyze every moment of every enemy from now on. It's like yeah, he looks like he's had a rough day, but uh, uh, he still well, fires his bow. <laughs> yeah, he might have the ire, right? Yeah, he might. You uh, know, uh, does a 19 hit Nora? Yeah. All right. Nora, take four points of piercing damage from the arrow. Ouchie. Okay. All right. Um, next up is this one. Who just kind of <laughs> sees Match hiding behind the, uh, the grave, the gravestone, and he just is charged in, holding his sword. And at that point, <laughs> you see him lurch over and fall, dropping his blade, and he just vomits out what appears to be like blood and fungus. Oh, Oscar, you're next. Mushroom blood. <laughs> and Oscar's uh. dead. Oscar, oh, <laughs> <laughs> he, after refusing to push up and like hearing them get caught he kind of like leans his head against the stone brings his finger and thumb up and kind of squeezes his temple oh god he... <laughs> I, don't have any, I don't think I have any spells right Drew's like a cantrips uh... I think they... wait I thought we got oh, I do dude I have Druidcraft. Oh. Uh, whisper to the spirits of nature, you create one of the following effects. A <laughs> tiny, harmless sensory effect. <laughs> Why are you doing cantrips? That predicts what the weather will be. Um, <laughs> what the weather will be. <laughs> a snowflake or a golden Ooh. orb for clear skies. Wow. Um, he, uh, he rounds the corner and he starts making his way over 
And uh, I'll ready the dodge action. <laughs> <laughs> you have spell it. slots, what do you mean? I have one spell slot and I'm the only one with a heal spell. Dude. We've rested you twice, you at least have All two. I have is tangling roots and this one spell, dude. <laughs> All right. Level one, because you want to keep the goodies. <laughs> Think about that. Think about your action! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I <laughs> jump over the two film and stab the shit out of him! Fucking rain until you hand in the treasure! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Matt, yeah, all right. Chaos. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's see how you do, dude. All right. Uh, that hits uh, for seven damage. Uh, you're using your savage attack as well? No, uh, that was the seven was my dagger. Roll. Oh, yeah, dagger miss. I did six damage with my savage. Yes, I will use seven strike. Okay, uh, the curved edge does hit. So the three piercings from the curb, curved edge? Yeah, the three three from Savage, three from Curved Edge. Uh, Six damage total. Okay. And actually re-roll the dagger because he's crouched on the, the ground, oh. vomiting blood and uh, oh. fungus, so you have advantage. That hits. Advantage dagger. Um, and since you have advantage, you also get sneak attack. Oh my god. <laughs> Just on keeps... both those that means i would oh uh, once two... you only do stink attack once okay yeah uh i'll just roll <laughs> yeah uh, all right yeah. so <laughs> it's just wow 18 so, damage to him so yeah so oscar is just like yelling at you to you know stop being so selfish and you're just like leave me alone and you leap over the gravestone <laughs> and you <laughs> and you just <laughs> Absolutely, just decimate this guy. Pull a Joe on him, and he's Mama? no. What he did to Joe? Oh, that's true. Talk about that. That's right. And he's no uh... one knows about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tony and, knows, dude. Uh, Tony. He, and uh, yeah, so the bandit falls over dead, and you're now in a in a puddle of blood and fungus. Ooh. Go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, uh-oh, he's going to get Me bad, at Me bad at those. <laughs> you eat the fungus by accident. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, a, nausea a nauseating smell uh, overcomes you for a moment, but you, you shake it off. Smell don't affect match, baby. He's stinky. <laughs> he's stinky, Already boy. Stinky. Uh, uh, Morton, you're up. <laughs> Uh, Morton, let's see. So there's the guy directly in front of me. I'm gonna look down at the cleaver, and he's like, "Well, at least we know what this thing can do." And then I, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, tw uh, thir I'm right in front of him. I'm running right up, and I'm gonna hit him with the cleaver. And I'm gonna see if I could do to him which what was done to me. Okay. It's not a um, cleaver. Is oh, it's a hook. hook. It's a meat hook, saying, dude. You... Like Pudge from oh. Doa. Oh. Hoi hoi! Chopper! Yikes. <laughs> Natural one! <laughs> that uh, thing is a plus seven to hit, and you blew up. <laughs> Not only Holy that, because fuck. it was a critical miss, uh, he damages the hook in the process. Oh. What? It now oh, deals. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, so it, you crash the hook down. Uh, how do, how do, first of all, how do you critically fail, Morton? Um. I think he's looking at the hook and not the enemy. So he like, as he goes to swing, like, he, he, you know, I was wise. He follows where the hook goes and says it's a hook. It like fucking goes all over the place. <laughs> so it like, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he's used to using a fucking war axe or whatever. And yeah. so he starts throwing it and it, uh, hits, I don't know, the fucking wall and yeah. gets, and gets scratched, uh, scratched the hook. Yeah. Oscar, you see him chip away at the hook, uh, so the hook now, instead of 2d6, deals 1d10 until it's repaired. And also, uh, like, visibly winces <laughs> when the hook chips. Mm. Oh, no. Oh. I, I also need you to roll a wisdom save. Yeah. From such a blunder. I love this. All right, you're good. Uh, you still take one point of stress from the... Uh, it's your first time swinging it, dude. You got used to it. 
Yeah, yeah. you got this. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're finding a balance, dude. It's like, this thing is, you know, you haven't fought with this thing before. Yeah, let's just pop back in another 30 minutes in their pair room. Good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Morton. Um, I'm just really, just quickly, just, just gonna just. All right. So, uh, uh, next up, uh, is gonna be this guy with the shield. It, uh, he runs over to you, Morton, and you can tell on his chest, he's got, like, little parts of, like, mushroom and fungus starting to, to grow on it. Um, he's going to attack you with his shield. Does a 12 hit you? Hit me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. All right. It kind of bounces off your armor. And, uh, yeah. That's his turn. Next up is Nora. Okay. I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast on Shield Bashy Fungus Guy. Okay. 15 to hit. That does hit. Okay. Four damage. Um, he kind of sees. He tries to bounce it back off to the, with the shield. Um, it still goes through and hits him. Um, next up is this bandit, who just watches you just like charge in with this giant hook and just dodges out of the time um, out of the way. I'm looking to see what he does. Oh, yikes. Uh, he's looking around, trying to see how he can do that, and he's going to disengage and go behind the, the shield guy. Um, while he's doing so, he begins coughing a, a bit harder, and you see him visibly cough out a little bit of blood, and he just kind of covers his hand and, and you know, wipes it. Uh, oh, he's okay. <laughs> Oscar. Mm. It is your turn. Okay. Oscar will shoulder up next to Morton and uh, come down on this, this roguish boy with the quarter stuff. All right. Okay. Uh, it just hits. Oh, and with that, you literally crack his his skull, uh, and he falls down, dead. Damn. Go oh, wow. Uh. He imme he immediately like turns to one. He goes, "What have you done?" <laughs> looks at the weapon. <laughs> like looks down, <laughs> like kind of abashed, like, "Oh, sorry, Dad." <laughs> <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> oh no. Uh match. Match charges forward and scampers over the dead body and then pounces on this guy and stabs the shit out of him too. <laughs> I love that he just like scampered over two dead bodies he now. He really is just escaping. <laughs> <laughs> he scampers too. Scampers on two feet. Um, crouch, crouch low and stay, you know. Yeah. Keep him, keep him low to the ground. All right, that hits. That also okay. hits. Yeah. So dealing a total of nine points of damage, uh, you get the, the curved blade. You kind of like slash up and you stab with the dagger like deep in the in the bandit's chest. And he's just he just spews blood all over you. Fungusy blood. Uh, roll a constitution saving throw. Still bad at those. <laughs> Has it changed? Um, oh, the smell this time is completely overwhelming, um, and you take three points of poison damage. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's the smell this time. It's the fact it's all over me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three points of damage. Uh, yes, you take three points of damage, and I need you to roll a wisdom save, please. As you are now being covered in blood. Uh, ah. In addition, it just it you it finally just causes you just to like 
your heart just starts to beat and you just realize like you're covered in this weird poisonous blood is it i mean you feel yourself getting weaker is are you gonna die are you infected and you take three points of stress um from Ooh, the from it three you were at this yes. moment i have ever taken <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Morton, you're up. Uh, do I see that? Yeah. Uh, Morton's a bit, look, look down at his, uh, his hook and look at, um, Oscar and kind of like, look, look kind of s apologetic. Uh, wait, are these two dead in front of us? Yeah. Yeah. So the one that's alive is by Ratboy. All right. Correct. Um, so I'm gonna pull has, his name isn't Ratboy, dude. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to pull out my bow and shoot at him from afar, because I don't want to get blood on me. Because <laughs> blood is icky. Well, I just saw it effectively burn his skin or whatever <laughs> the fuck his reaction was. So, um, yeah, let me use my, is it, I guess a short bow. Let me see what I got. Egyptian bow. It hits, That's the arrow strikes true. Guess I'm a ranger now. Uh... Wait, oh, sorry, my bad. That's yeah, okay. I want to attack again. You can't do that. <laughs> I think I'm going to attack again. Um, I, I kill him. Yeah, he, he killed him. The arrow strikes him. He falls over. Now that blood's just like, you know, falling over him. And uh, yeah, all three of them fall over dead. Nice. They were messy. Yeah. I'm gonna get up to the wall and just rub my chest on the wall to get it <laughs> Just a rat. <laughs> you have hands, you have clothes. You got plenty of things around you. You use the wall. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna use it on my hands. It fucking, it's poison blood. The fuck? Well, these guys, um, are there like sconces on the walls, Brett, and stuff? Um, what's this? What's this? What's this? Sconce? Like, a, like a torches, torches on the walls and stuff. Like, is this corridor lit? Oh, yeah, it's lit. Okay. Oscar, lit, baby. Oscar, like, wrestles the meat hook from the waistband of, of Morton and holds it up to the the torchlight. He oh, just growls and just shoves it back in his arms. <laughs> I'm just, sorry, I uh, never used a meat cleaver before. I mean, hook. See, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> he just it's, keeps uh, walking. Can you think you can fix it, Oscar? Um, Oscar. <laughs> he doesn't respond. <laughs> um, Morton. You yeah. see the uh, the sword, the shield, and the bow uh, left behind by the thieves, and you're curious if the collector might be interested. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to get to it first. I will uh, investigate them, and I run back and take them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, Batch walks, just literally like, yuck, it just walked away. So. There's definitely a player out there that's like, uh, I actually roll perception to see if I see them first. I actually have <laughs> yeah, 100%. I was about to say that DM, I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Match is uh, very unhappy that He's he finally blood, had yeah. like a breaking moment where mm. like it got to him. All this like shit buildup has finally got to him. He's just like, ah, fuck, this sucks. God. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> You've been hiding it so well up to this point. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, as so, uh, just to, so every we're just pointing at everything. Um, Oscar and Match, as you guys are approaching, you see there is another bandit, a deeper, in the uh, in the area. Doesn't seem to have noticed you guys yet. Uh, Morton. Uh, yeah, you just you, you pick you pick up everything. You're you're investigating them, and uh, you know the weapons themselves don't uh, appear to be ordinary. I mean, they'll they'll definitely help a little bit in in combat scenarios, um, but it has a is it has a certain history to it that a collector what, what might be interested in. Weapons. Yeah, these the the weapons, the the sword, the shield, and the bow. Um, so. The shield only gives you a plus one AC, um, but the bow and the sword um, are count as plus one weapons. So the sword would do 1d6 plus one. The bow would do 1d8 plus one. 
And mm. uh, but because they were used for the slaughter of an entire, you know, village, uh, the collector may have some. I guess sort of they've got, sick they've appreciation. Got emotional value. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Um. I mean, I think Morgan could use the bow if he's honest, but also like you know, if everyone, if we need to level up, this is the time. So, uh, Morgan will take these kind of in his arms and look to anyone else to see if they're paying him any mind. Uh, Oscar is not paying him any mind. I'm still working this blood off my fucking body. Oscar's just shuffling down the, the hallway. You know, oh. this big lumbering frame <laughs> casting a shadow on the wall of a giant. All right, but he's fucking jerking himself off an RP. <laughs> no, just, it might scare you, dude. I don't know. <laughs> sure. that's, all. that's all I was saying. You might get a little bit scared by a shadow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, Morton will, uh, will look to those and he says, Look, uh, if we're gonna be in here for a while, maybe we should try to play by that collector's rules. What do you say we hand him over these? I, I show him, I hold up the weapons. I do a shushing motion with my finger. Tell him to shut the fuck up. Because I point to the bandit over there. What, what? Is he dead though? No, there's what? a bandit up ahead. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no, it's no, I'm room. shaking my head, SMH, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't speak text. To... <laughs> <laughs> Nora okay. is going to give him like a reassuring smile and just nod and say, we'll talk about that later. Should I uh, take care of this one? And I look over where the bandit is. <laughs> Match just looks confused. I take out the new bow and I shoot at the bandit. Oh, oh my fucking god. Um, <laughs> what? It Face just it hits him in the head. Uh, okay, so that's a surprise round. Um, <laughs> I gotta prove to everyone that Morton can give as good as he gets because I got a lot. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll with advantage. All right. Are you using the, the bandit bow? Yeah. I don't right, have it on my Wait, so essentially no one was taking you seriously, so you just fired an arrow <laughs> at the back. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like when you enter a room and you like fucking, I don't know, do something dramatic to get everyone's attention. I just did that, but I shot a guy in the head. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well you, you haven't know. shot him in the head yet, bro. Uh, I, you know. DM said I shot him in the head, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, for, to be fair, I I, I, I said yeah, you attempted to uh, shoot him in okay. the. Uh, right, right. uh, I don't know what I'm rolling because I don't have the bow. Um, I'm I'm making it worse. I'm making it no, right it's now. It's better than my other bow. The Egyptian bow says plus two. You said the the bandit bow does plus one. Uh, uh, no, no, it, it, but it adds a plus one. So including your dexterity. Yeah, it's it's uh, dex plus one. Yeah, yeah, dude. And so really, they're comparable. Uh, all right. So wait, what the fuck? Sorry, one d six. At a one. It does more damage because it's a d eight, right? Uh, that is correct. That is correct. And boom. All right. That's uh. You now have the blood banded bow on your person. So go ahead and uh, attack with it with advantage. Oh. Well, Damn. you got a crit. So I mean, I don't think you're gonna beat oh. that. Um, you. Go ahead and roll the crit damage. But I already crit, right? Because no. it's a surprise round. Oh, no, it's... It yeah. Be. yeah. Yeah, So it's a surprise what are you round. Talking about? So you get advantage, but you rolled a crit, which means you're not going to do any better than that. So uh, you deal six points of... <laughs> I rolled a one. Damage. But that's okay. Hey, you did really good. Thanks. Keep it up. <laughs> Thanks. Um, but as you see it, it, it strike the bandit true and just kind of catch him off guard. You realize, you know, you just made that look very easy because of that, that crit. And, uh, because of that, you heal one stress. Woohoo! Uh, so at that point, you see this arrow sticking out of the, the bandit. And uh, he just turns around like, hey, we got company. And uh, at that point, uh -oh. you hear all the other bandits in the room oh. just start to 
fuck? I mean, yeah. Obviously, yeah. I look over at the fucking matches and I shrug like, I have a one. It's like, said one. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, everyone, roll initiative. Too many fights in a row. We're gonna die. It's constant, dude. Don't mind, uh... <laughs> Don't mind me! <laughs> I'm just, uh, just rolling some initiatives. Any items. Dear Lord. Dear Lord! So yep. I'm rolls, DM. Yeah, no. we're dead. Uh, all right. So where? What's next? What's who? Can I? Okay, there we go. Uh, all right. Uh, match. You're next. Um, I'm gonna wait. Can you do a double attack if somebody? Hmm. Define double attack. You mean like, like use two handed web? You like use both weapons? Yeah, I want to do. So I want to hold my action. In the event someone comes running past, like I was gonna move here uh -huh. and hold my action. If somebody comes running into this hallway, I'll allow I it. Yes, stab them with two attacks. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I'll allow it. Okay, so I'm gonna hold my attack actions. And just sit, there. stay here. Smart. Hiding behind my tombstone thing or whatever <laughs> this is. What? We ask calm now, boys. <laughs> Overwatch. Step <Stop> there. <laughs> uh. Curved edge. Oh, sneak attack too, right? Oh, the curved edge uh, is a critical miss, uh -huh. and you damage the weapon. No, <laughs> it's too no. accident. Oscar audibly groans. <laughs> uh, your curved weapon uh, now does one d four until it's repaired. Go. Well. <laughs> okay. That's that. Um, um uh how and what dagger hit? Uh the dagger did hit, yes. Alright. Then I'm gonna sneak attack savage strike. Put all my damage onto a dagger, I guess. <laughs> yeah! Damn it. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> a three and a one, but uh um, so ten damage. Hey, well, you still stab him down because he's still got the arrow in his shoulder. And he just like Hell strips yeah. over and falls dead. <laughs> and I slink back to the shadow. Well, oh, he can't move anymore. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next up is Morton. Um, so I will feel bad for uh, apparently initiating an entirely more difficult fight than the first one. And I will rush in. Uh, so this is that 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 one's dead. Yes. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> I, I yes. wave him into the next room. Hey, you did it, buddy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> fuck it. Ah, fuck it. I already died once. You know what I got to lose? I climb over the body. Your life. I, I step in here. What do I see? All right. You just you just keep going right in. All right, so five you... archers. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> they wear shirts that say "I hate Mort." I don't know what why. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, you get into a uh, a big crypt room uh, filled with there we go, uh, filled with like bed rolls, uh, bl uh, barrels of blood, uh, mossy grass, old campfires. And you see a couple more thugs in the room, but um, they appear to be different as they are completely covered in a, a fungusy moss. Mm. And they just kind of turn over to you from being alerted from the shot, uh, but they don't. Uh, they don't seem to be that like aware they 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 they're aware they 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 they're very nonchalant they're they're very emotionless because they kind of like turn over you and just kind of begin shambling over to to you uh, right 
Warren's gonna kind of give it a sec, and once he can tell that they're just kind of shuffling at him, he's just gonna start backing up. Um, I think that's probably all I can move this turn. Yep. But I'm gonna signal to everyone else, like, we should go. How many are there? Yeah. Yeah, something's not right about these baddies. Nora, it's your turn. I'm gonna look to Match and uh, Oscar just to gauge what they think we should do. Oscar just nods. Does that, does <laughs> that help leave? <laughs> it's not helpful at all. <laughs> uh... Match looks at Oscar, nod, and then shrugs. <laughs> uh... <laughs> the, the world of vague expression. Okay, yeah, we've, done, we've done so much hand motions in this that Oscar no one... nods back the way we came. <laughs> okay, yeah, got it. So we're fleeing. <laughs> nods again. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you. Am I the shot caller? I'm just. You looked at me and I looked back at you. And I didn't want to make a noise. There's ten guys in that room. Yellow. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, I start moving back, yeah. Oh, he boy. just... Oscar thought... Oh, no, but... It's not Oscar's turn yet. <laughs> Rolls eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see Oscar on the initiative order. Oh, Oscar, you're not on the initiative order. Why not? I, I don't I don't know. It says Oscar initiative 12 right there. Click your goddamn portrait. I did. Uh, I don't liar, see liar, it. liar, liar. Okay. You're on the fucking initiative order. <laughs> <laughs> kind of rhymes. Uh, roll initiative again. I'll add it. I'll add a twelve. There might be an error. That would do. I'll take that one. Okay. All right. Uh, so they 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 shamble over, uh, but very slowly. Oscar, it's your turn. Uh, he follows. My lady. Don't ever. <laughs> Uh, match. You now see a um, a one of the blood bandits just completely covered in fungus and mushrooms, slowly shambling over uh, to the hall right now. Hmm. Vinehart, make a barrier between us in the hallway. Oh, hole. smart. Hey, what's that? Um. <laughs> 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 Nothing. <laughs> just like I'm hey, holding hey. it out and like using the power, just like yeah, yeah! and then I just <laughs> tuck it back away. Nothing. I love how you have an item that does my only spell for free without a spell slot, <laughs> and I've only been able to do it once, and I'm out of spells. Get a better fucking class. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I guess. Bye. <laughs> well, it can only be done once per combat, so. 30 feet. Is that that far? That is that far. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> That's dead. Uh, you see another sword, uh, by the way, next to um, him, Morton. Uh, oh. Quite nice to see that sword. Oh, the, oh, the dead the, the bandit? Yeah. I'll pick it up as I'm leaving. <laughs> Cause he's literally just standing by the body. Um, Oscar, it is your turn. Initiative order is a little out of order just because uh, of the initiative issue from last round. This is round two. So Oscar, what do you do? Uh, he's just, he's just following Nora, he's leaving. Okay. Are they chasing us? Well, uh, they've been stopped by the vines for now, but I assume they're going to chase us. We don't really have anywhere to run to. Yeah, I'm, I'll move up and take the dodge action. Okay. He's cautiously looking over his shoulder. Uh, Morton. Let's see. Um, I will pick up that uh, weapon that's on mm -hmm. the ground. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, and then also take the dodge action. Nora. Move up 30 feet, take dodge action. <laughs> Easy. 
kind of so see. So proud of you guys, dude. <laughs> you kind of <laughs> hiding in D and D. Taking the dodge action, dude. I'm so proud of you. Dodge guys. action is for losers. <laughs> you see the bandit uh, covered in fungus, just kind of staring at the the entangled vines that have kind of you, that you creatively used to cover the doorway. Um, well, you don't see anything. The, the doorway is completely covered in vines. And, uh, you just kind of hear footsteps trail off into the right. room. Pretty good. <laughs> All right. So when I said follow the right wall before, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Or other right. Other right. Yeah. Clearly that's what I meant. Well, you know what I believe? What is it, Morin? Shut up, Martin. Yes. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> I was going to have a character development moment. All right. We just oh, got the fucking No, I want to know. I want to know. Uh, whatever. What, uh, let's go back. Hey, monster. Think you can repair my meat hook? Slumps down by the anvil and extends a hand, reaching, gesturing for the weapon. I hand it to him. He looks over for a while and then gets to work. Right, right as away. he's about to start working and like clearly an invasion of his, uh, you know, worth, work ethic and personal space. I set my fucking sword <laughs> down on top of the meat hook right before he's about to hammer yeah, the, the first like- the actually raised. It's just going <laughs> in, just bing. Yeah, me too. Uh, he looks, to, he looks at this, is it a chipped sword? It's a dagger. Yeah, it's a, it's a chipped, curved sword. Yeah, and then at match, and he kind of growls, just kind of like drops it on the floor next to the anvil, and gets back to work. Um, is anyone using the fountain? To Me. For I'm their short say, rest. Fuck it. These guys clearly haven't died. I'm gonna take a sip. I'll probably refresh. Hot, you know, hot after the first one. Take it. Take a drink uh, right after North. I will not partake today. You've noticed the fountain is now half empty. Okay. You can use hit dice uh, to heal. Uh, yes, you still. Yeah, you're still gonna use your, your hit dice. Yeah. What do I do? I just, what do I do? Yeah, and you got one. Woo-hoo. By the way, you don't you don't have to sit because you haven't spent your hit dice yet. Wait, what did you? What does that mean? I don't know what any of this means. I don't know this game. Uh, so you got one d six from the fountain too, Lawman. Well, you get one d six from your character. So when you take a short rest, uh, Lawman, you have a certain amount of like healing hit dice that you can use during your short rest. That's equal to your current hit dice. So your character has a d six, I believe, as a rogue. No, a d eight. You have a d eight as a rogue, and you have a d six for your your bandit level essentially you roll that to heal when you take a short rest but you can only do that once per long rest but every time you drink from the fountain uh you're able to heal as if you were doing a short rest you still have to do the short rest but you do, you get like an extra healing with the fountain sorry if that yeah. all sounds very confusing but so do i get four hit points uh yes mm-hmm. all right i'm full health cool all right, so let me go ahead and, but you don't get yeah, to wash it off the blood with the water. <laughs> oh, you, you're washing the bloody fucking mushrooms into the thing we drink out of? No, not into it. Like, I take a cup full, you know, and sip it, and then I, you know, rub my vest with the whatever's left on my hand. Uh, Nora, you healed eight hit points. So you're back to full. I did, yeah. Go, wow. Oh, wow, we! I'm like a nine. Wow, wow, wow! I have, uh, I have Nora at fourteen. I have Match at twelve. I have, uh, Oscar at ten. I'm and... at sixteen now. Oh, did you did you heal again? Yeah. All right, cool. And okay, so I'm during... at fifteen. Yep, and I've got a uh, yep. I have a uh, uh, Morton at fifteen. Although, if we're doing a short rest, I might as well just get my one hit point back from doing a short hit die, right? Well, have you already spent your hit die before the long rest? Yeah, I already used it once today. Okay. So then... Alright, then I won't. Yeah. Oscar lifts his head up from the anvil and 
hands. He kind of like raises the uh, the meat hook up, gesturing Morton to collect it. I collect it. Oh. He doesn't oh, let I... go of it until <laughs> I, I also put my hands on it. <laughs> I, I put my hands up. It. <laughs> Sorry. So, my bad. Uh, how do we offer those things if we never see this guy? He like gestures to the extra sword on your waist belt. Let me uh, let me try talking to the thing. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, let me get a look at that sword. Hmm. Uh, I'll tell you about it, but I don't think you should touch it, pal. Why not? Uh, wait, no why do you get it. that and I don't get shit? Match, why don't we I... talk about what you're hiding in your breast pocket? I saw what earlier. she said. It's nothing. It's just a little, it's just a little dash, uh, a little do that. Mm. Can we see it? Yeah, why don't you show us? I'll slip the the vine heart out a little bit from the vest pocket and just peek a little, uh, peek a little, uh, a little bit of it out. Yeah, yeah, they see nothing. Can I examine it? Um, it's barely poking out from my vest, just like a can little I, can corner I reach of it. for it. <laughs> I took it back away. I mean, mm. if if you guys are if you're trying to uh, take something forcibly from him, you'll have, I'll have to ask you I'm, both to do I'm a not grapple. Trying to take it forcibly. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's not thin. Just <laughs> you know, just I want a little sword. Just looks good. Well, then you're not really in a position to negotiate, are you? What is my voice doing? <laughs> Still trying to get used to this other self. Yeah, it's like <laughs> turned into like John Wayne. All right, all right, fine. Let's make a deal. Hmm. It's for that. Wait, is he pointing at the sword? What is he, what is he pointing at? The sword for the heart is what he's implying. I, I offer the sword and put my other hand out. I slap a big old vine heart right in his, oh, uh, he <laughs> kept, in his hand. He kept to the I deal. Know. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed. Yeah, everyone's I'm impressed. impressed. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the bar was so low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't con him. <laughs> uh, by, bye what? bye, vine heart. Your charisma drops to t- uh, by two. Yeah, whatever. Oh, when I have the vine heart? Oh no 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 no! Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, matches charisma drops by two, um, and now the vine heart is in Morton's possession, which means your charisma increases by two. Hey, wait a minute! This makes me feel uh, charismatic. <laughs> Wiggles eyebrow. That's definitely how that word is said. Um, <laughs> this is unnatural to me. I don't know if I like it. Here, why don't you take a look, little lady? And I, I hand it over to, uh, to mother character. No. Fuck you. To mother character. <laughs> to, wow. To, to I'm mother. never calling I'm the you bad Morgan guy, again. Dude. God damn. <laughs> to mother mommy. character. You got mommy issues, Morgan? What are you trying to say? All right, look, charisma boosts your fucking, it's your main stat, all right? So you should be thanking me. Uh, yeah. Am I taking this now? Is that what's happening? You're offering it? Yeah, I'm offering it to you. All right. I'll, I'm going to reluctantly take it. I'll just nod. Your charisma increases by two. Morton's oh, charisma God. decreases by two. You can cast and hit entangle once uh, per combat. Um, What is my sword again? It's a plus one. So is that... What is this? So you can actually what use that. This? What do I have? So you can actually use that in your offhand. Uh, I throw the dagger on the ground. <laughs> um, Oscar holds up this fucking scimitar. Am I fixing this or not? Yeah, yeah. I'd just be using this instead. And then I, I have that in my left hand, the blood bandit sword in my left hand. And mm-hmm. I would, you know imply that I use my right hand for my other one. I have a proposal. From now on, mm. when we get some mm, interesting items in here, we should decide who gets them instead of... And I look to matches. 
hiding them from the group. Hmm. Hey, nobody. Huh, made a deal. Hmm. Sounds good to me. And he, the hammer makes one last hit on the machete. In perfect time with the sentence. Oscar raises it up towards Mitch. I collect. I, I Gra- the he groans out of the seat and stretches. And gives himself a, a little handful of water. Shall we? I, uh, I tuck the dagger into my boot. A little boot dagger. And then I have the uh, the curved edge in my right hand and the blood bandit sword in my left. And I'm just like swirling them around like, hey, yeah. All right, well, let's see what this collector has to say about these items. And I go to the statue and I kind of lay that out in front of it. I'm not really sure what the process is, but I like put the bow. Oh, the in the main hole? Yeah, I'm going to put the bow, the go other ahead. sword we got, and Go ahead and move your, your character the shield. there. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Stop role-playing and use the visuals. God. <laughs> Stop <laughs> using your imagination. <laughs> um, so what are you uh, la- laying towards the statue? Uh, the bow, the other sword, because mm-hmm. there's two, mm-hmm. and the shield. Uh, um, out of character, isn't this... You know what? Never mind. Uh, so you... <laughs> Okay, ominous. Well, yeah, I think it's so you, about to explain. You rest the sword, the shield, and the bow uh, over on the, uh, the the statue, kind of like over on the statue platform, uh, and you hear a voice uh, in your head, Morton, and it's the sound of the collector, and says, ah, these are very interesting relics collected by the blood bandits who slaughtered Ghoulcrest. And this would be uh, very interesting to my collection of war criminal weaponry. Yes, I'll take one of each. And now for your reward. Uh, you receive 100 experience points per bandit equipment that you submitted, which means 300 experience points. In addition, no, we, since... We submit three. In, well, you did. You said you the sword, the bow, no, and the shield. no. Matt, what? just hold you keeping the no, sword. No, there's two swords. There's, there's two, two swords. swords. Yeah. Shaking my head, 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 my head. <laughs> what? There were two yeah, swords. There, there were two, two swords. Yeah, they killed. Uh, you guys killed two uh, bandits with swords, so that you, uh, oh. two swords were collected. Yeah. Um. And the collector is only interested in uh, one apiece. So you're, if you were to try and turn in the other sword, you actually wouldn't mm-hmm. receive anything for it. Um. So continuing. You receive 100 experience points per piece of equipment. Uh, In addition, uh, since Morton is the one uh, giving the items to the collector, a bonus 10% experience has been offered. So everyone has earned uh, 330 experience points, meaning that your other selves have just leveled up. So I'm just going to use uh, the character mancer really quick on everyone uh, while everyone's leveling. And you guys uh, tell me what you're uh, what you're doing next. Oh, wait. Do we not do it? Wait, are you leveling or am I are we leveling? He's uh, character mancering us while we do story. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, if, if that works with everyone. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Uh, okay. In that case, uh, I think Morton will will flex a little bit in his new body and kind of see if it feels any stronger. Um, and then he was like, uh, "Do you feel different?" Mm, a little bit, I suppose. No. No. Oh, <laughs> must be my imagination then. You feel stronger. I feel stronger. <laughs> uh, you can I look at your... my blades around. I'm just, I'm just like, giving gas. Yeah. So if you actually look at your character sheet right now, you'll see what's, uh, what's changed from. I've done Match and Morton so far. Oh. What? Yeah. Ah. Hey, a couple more hit points. <laughs> I'll take it. Mm. Oscar looks down the corridor. They haven't been down yet. 
You want to go that way, big guy? Unless you know about a secret way that we aren't aware of. I mean, Is we can either option? fight those fungal guys in the other mm. corridor, or... I peek over his shoulder, too. Yeah, yeah. And we should go this way. Did you climb me? Like a tree? <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Oh yeah, you're fucking I'm like huge six nine. <laughs> <laughs> I peek under the no, arm you, pit no, area. You climb me, you climb me. I love that. I, the imagery is so good. How tall is Match? I also love the like, Match is still it. pretty like, tall. Still light, like, it's like... Yeah, Match so is nimble. like you could like jump. You could easily you could jump boy. and get a peek. Yeah, you're just hopping up and down. Yeah, I just jump up and like, hey, what's in there? And eventually I just go to the side of him. <laughs> just look in. Um, Ooh. all right. Yeah, that's nice. the big thing. Everyone got hit points and action surges and wild B shapes and cunning oh, actions. Action yeah, yeah, yeah. Level two, Damn. baby. Is uh, action surge, because we don't, we're not doing full rests. Is that handled any differently in this? Uh, yes, it'll be handled differently. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so as you guys enter the other side of the, the, the hallway, uh, a smell takes over. Oh. Matches, come on. It's not my name. <laughs> Is it not? You can't get anyone's name right in the game. What? Is fucking it? match. <laughs> Close enough. Come Mom on. character hey, matches. <laughs> um, as you approach deeper, you see fungus growing on the sides of the walls and a stairwell that uh, descends deeper into the crypt. I clip a fungus mushroom and hold it. Oh, it lets out a like a like a spray scent. Make a Constitution saving throw. Oh. Frickin' Dumbo. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, you take three points of damage from the spray. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, it goes to smell bouquet of flowers and just gets spit <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't smelling. I was literally just. I, I knelt down and just like cut it. But I guess <clears throat> that was enough. Just. Pfft. Yep. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> that felt good. Um, yeah, with that, what, uh, what else are you guys doing? Uh, I'd like to... Oscar rips his sleeve off and rips it lengthways and kind of wraps it around his face. Okay. Nora's gonna follow suit with the hem of her skirt. It's a long skirt. Everyone calm down. <laughs> but she's gonna do that. <laughs> That's not plus two charisma, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it just yeah. means your skirt about two inches shorter. <laughs> I can see some angle now. <laughs> Yikes. Um, all right. What do you guys? Morgan will try doing? to do the same, but I don't think he has like long drapey clothes. So he might just <laughs> You're just trying just to rip at stuff. He just like, yeah, he just puts his hand over his mouth. Oscar rips his other sleeve off and just gives it to you. Oh, you know, that. Thanks, thanks, Oscar. Totally smells like my armpit. <laughs> <laughs> Better than that. Match doesn't do anything. Such a he way walks forward. <laughs> he just continues to walk. Yep. Kay. Um, you go down the uh, the deep stairwell, <laughs> or do you? Keep walking or if you do. I sneak down it. I would like to sneak down the stairs. God, this guy's such a sneaky boy. You roll, sneaky roll that, boy. roll that sneak. Stealth check. Okay. You uh, begin to stealth down. Tip toe, tip toe, tip toe. <laughs> uh, you enter a room that is just. Filled with this weird fungus. Everyone be careful. Don't want to breathe I that in. We would just follow a distance. I'd try and keep like, you know, 10, 15 feet. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep. Unless, you, if I ever need to reroll stealth, let me know. But I'm just. You're just, just gonna keep your stealth forward. I hear you. Sneaking, 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 sneaking. Uh, what's everyone's passive perception? Um. Bads of Zibson. Twelve. Um. Thirteen. Uh, Sixteen. Don't remember Wait, that. Check. Sorry, thirteen. I'm blind. <laughs> Twenty. <Don't. laughs> the highest it can be. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember where it is. It's uh, uh, below all your skills. Your yours is eleven. Ah, eleven. Eleven. All right. So I'm going to say, like, go ahead and you can move your, your character uh, tokens, by the way. Uh, Nora. Yeah. As you enter the fungus filled room, uh, you notice that uh, the fungus especially seems dense over here. As if it's more instead of being uh, slathered upon a wall, it seems to be covering over an opening. Hmm. Does anyone have anything that can possibly cut through this fungus? I think there's an opening over here. You really want to do that? Uh, I mean, this room seems closed otherwise, doesn't it? Oh, is there no way over here? Uh, yeah, no, it's open. You see, you oh, see a okay. hall over there, yeah. Um, as you uh, en approach the hallway there, uh, match, you see a, a, a rickety, like, wooden makeshift bridge uh going over uh what appears to be a deep hole of some sort oh god, oh god. Uh, match <laughs> jesus i'll i'll try to catch up what do you see over there match it's a bridge oh 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 i pick up another rock where's the baby cr uh coming from now the cries uh, it's, it's, it's heading over, it's over in your, uh, over in this direction. Okay. It's not me. Pick up a rock and throw sure? it in the, the, it's, the chasm. It's, it's this direction. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you toss the rock and you just kind of. Count. count until it hits. Uh, it, it, it hits fairly quickly. It's not like an infinite death. I mean. It's definitely enough where if you fell down there, it's going to hurt. And then you just kind of hear like a, a splat, kind of like a, a fleshy crunch that the rock hits. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to cross this, really. Maybe we should go kill those fungus boys. <laughs> uh, anyone right, have any can, ideas? Can I try to use my sickle to cut through this fungus? Oh boy. Uh, you can attempt to. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> bye bye. Me goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, mama. <laughs> bye, mom character. <laughs> uh, you you slice at the 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 mushrooms and it lets out this this nauseous powder all oh. over you. Make a Constitution saving throw. Oh, fun. Seventeen. Uh, oh. all right. Yeah, you 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 keep you keep hold. A mother's will prevails always. Uh, do I see anything through like the gaps that that made at all? It's so much mushroom that the Jesus. slash that you made it it barely did anything. <sighs> yeah, anyone have any uh, fire or? Hmm. Uh, I could eldritch. Bla Would that work? Eldritch blast? Yeah, I mean, if it's magic, that could work. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, you'd probably yeah. want to back up, though. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> I I was assuming you weren't casting it right then and there, but you know, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> oh, that's wise, Morton. I didn't know you knew so much about. Ah, oh, well, that's the thing. I know a lot about a lot of things. Oh, if you care that's to ask? Great. Uh, I think there will be a time and a place for that. Thank you. That's a seven. Uh, now oh. I'm guessing by your tone. <laughs> <laughs> this man <laughs> reads uh, the room. You, <laughs> read the room. <laughs> you uh, eldritch blast at the fungus, okay. and it just I just you see a huge puff of just this this powder that you know hits you before, 
Um, yeah, and as hold your breath, everyone. As, and then as it dissipates, it's just there's just more fungus. Jesus. Oh, well, I keep going. Lads? I'm yes? Gonna, no? I'm gonna put a foot on the bridge. Oscar's oh, following God. you, Nora. All right. I, I'm, I'm with Nora. Again. Dude, Matt's just gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> just a little, just a little wait, like one foot on the stone and one uh, foot on the plank. Okay. See what happens. It, 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 it makes a, a creaking sound and kind of rocks a little bit, but otherwise, you don't like. It doesn't like dissolve like it was made of paper. Hmm. Yeah, we interesting. Uh, I did an eighteen eldritch blast on the fungus. You're attacking again. Uh, so yeah. you blast out the the fungus. The same mm -hmm. thing happens. Just another pile of dust and just mi more mushrooms in the way. I mean. I try the ropes on the side of the bridge and just kind of <laughs> tug at it. Um, <clears throat> you, you give it a, a little tug. It, it seems to support that. Uh, do we have a torch, again. Brett? Oh, that's a we good idea, actually. Right. On the wall? Uh, so there's torches on the wall that are lit, but you don't have torches on your person, no. Uh, while she's... Because we're, we're all standing far enough away, I'm going to grab a torch and say, usually fungus burns. I'm going to throw the torch at the <laughs> oh, fungus. Oh, Jesus. Um, actually, fungi are high in moisture and don't burn, so we... Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Match pushes up his glasses. Uh, you'll have to get a little closer. Okay. Throw the torch. I'd say like 20 feet or so. No right. reason. 5, 10. Well, okay. 20? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try 30. And I'm going to give it a good hearty throw. Mm. I can okay. throw 30 feet. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, you throw the torch over at the fungus and you see it react violently um, as it like attempts to snuff out the torch. It doesn't seem to, the torch doesn't seem to tear away at the fungus, um, mm -hmm. but it definitely had a reaction towards it. Interesting. Anyone else have any ideas? I put my full weight on the first plank of the bridge. Oh my God, he's not even <laughs> in the room with us and he's... <laughs> Uh, the, uh, At this point, Oscar has like wandered far enough that he's caught up to match, <laughs> and uh, he grabs either side of the rope bridge to study it. Oh my oh. god! Easier help. You're helping him. <laughs> this is. I got you. <laughs> Easy there. Uh, you're you're good. I mean, it does. You, you feel. You hear the sound of it just creaking, um, and as you kind of like look over, you can see what's at the depth of the uh, the hole, and it's just a pile of corpses. A lot of people gonna make it across this bridge or something. I don't know. Seems good to me. <laughs> I take another step. Oh boy. Cautiously, whoa. I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah, I've no. got my arms out. You know, like whoa. Acrobatic even, style. Even though, even though there's fucking ropes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh He's doing God. a balancing act, basically, Why? while uh, Oscar steadies the bridge um make an neck and make an acrobatics check no not like not like i'm <laughs> fucking tightrope walking like i'm just like i'm keeping my own balance okay okay okay, yeah. okay all right all right all right you're good you're good i'm not I, showing off yeah i thought you were showing off i was like what uh, okay <laughs> that's what you want to do no, just being cautious all right you're good you're good you're good yeah then uh yeah yeah you're good yeah. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Ain't nothing. Now you, big guy. Uh, Oscar takes a hesitant step. Oh boy. Three hundred pounds heavier than that. <laughs> yeah. Um. And he starts to starts to cross the bridge. I start to saw away the ropes of the bridge. <laughs> God. I, think, I, I can totally see you just shaking it once and he gives you a death glare. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, hey, come on. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Okay. Did I make it over? Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Morton, I don't know if we're going to get through this. 
Uh, we seem to need some more firepower if we want to get through there. Maybe we could come back to it. All right, good plan, mother figure. And I, <sighs> you gotta stop calling me that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I don't know if that was a, uh, you're asking about my experience with my own mother, but I'm happy to share what, what uh, was oh, a very God. healthy relationship with If my I mom. hear this conversation this sounds very approaching defensive. me, this is like, I, yeah. I will walk away from the conversation any it's way like, I can. I'm, imagine this like attenuates in as we're like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The <laughs> like, you're coming in like, ah, Nora, ah. Nora has both hands on the side of her temples, just right, just like, oh. As you walk around the other side of the pillar, uh, match, you see another bridge and another hole. Oh, wow. <sighs> What's with all these bridges? What's the deal with all these bridges? <laughs> I walk away again from that guy. <laughs> oh my god. All right, Martin, one person per bridge. Let's go. All right, I guess I'll uh, try to study it for me. I'll try. One, two, skip the dee doo. And I get to the other edge and I hold it for her. Thank you. Another step two. Doing good. It's good teamwork, by the way. Out of character. Proud of everyone. Mm mm. Mm mm. Okay. And Ulster then crosses the bridge. From here, I stealth forward. Uh, here. Um. All right. So as you carefully, cautiously approach. Uh, you see a, st a stone stairwell that ascends up. Um, there's also another path over here um, where you see a uh, bandit. And he's dead. Oh. Oh. Good work <laughs> there, Match. <laughs> Got one. Covered in fungus. Oh. He seems to be holding on to a, a little bag. Oh, oh, you said his trigger one. Hi, <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Holding. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Wearing, holding. <laughs> In possession uh, of. <laughs> uh, what does Match do? Take back. Uh, you look inside to see a what appears to be a, a like a, a rather large glass vial of a, a mysterious purple fluid. And a note. Read note. <laughs> Reads <laughs> notes. Um, <laughs> um, the note states how this fungus, it, it's, it's just in crude handwriting. It states, this fungus has gotten out of control. I went ahead and got the glass of fire to hopefully clear some of it. Just use it on key spots. It's only got a limited amount of uses. From... Hank. Hank! Oh, Hank! Hank, no! <laughs> I used to play cards with Hank. Stabbed him too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He, got um, a, he got a good stabbing. Uh, yeah. I think. Do you relay message? No. Oh, my God. Continue sneaking. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, make a sleight of hand check. Okay. Can we fair, perception fair. that? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Damn fuck, that's not high enough. <laughs> <laughs> Just like get higher than twenty if you yeah, want to no, see what fuck, fucking dude. match is doing at any time. <laughs> no kidding, Jesus. I like to think that Oscar was close enough that he saw you take it, but just couldn't give a fuck. Doesn't say. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> honestly, <laughs> God, honestly. Uh, Morton, do you roll a uh... perception check on that? I'm I'm too far away. I was just making my way through the other thing. I don't think okay. I'd be able to see it. All right. There. Well, good good on you guys. That's good. I tried. All right. So you enter another <laughs> room covered. In <laughs> Thank you, Brett. Fungus. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> As long as there, as long as an effort was made, you know, um, yeah. then we're good. Uh, you enter another crypt room. Uh, there is a path that uh, that opens up uh, over in this direction, and you see like two kind of like small alcoves 
over in here. Match, if you've been oh. taking peeks, uh, they apparently are uh, like kind of like personalized crypts uh, for like families and things of, of that nature. Oh. You could go in the other one. Uh, same thing there, yeah. Oh. oh, that's not a good noise to make around a crypt, but yeah, okay. Need <laughs> that. It seems to be getting louder. Oh. Um, you approach an area that is now just heavy with fungus. Morton. Yeah. I do have a question. Is it about my mother? No. Oh. It's not about your mother. Uh, do you know anything about this fungus? You're local here, right? Yeah. Well, aren't you also? <laughs> no, local? I'm. I'm from a traveling order of Lumen. We are oh. missionaries here. That's to weird. Help I never asked about that. Ire. I feel like I uh, would have been <laughs> curious. Um, what, do I know anything about this fungus spread? Feel like you would have also just um, seen her in town. This pretty small town we live in. Yeah. I mean, I know you, Oscar. Uh, no, you you don't know anything about this fungus. It's very strange and foreign. I don't know anything about this fungus. It's very strange and foreign. If I'm honest. Oh, that was worth a shot. Hey, do we want to try the other way? The other way? What do you mean? Yeah, no, yeah no, we got some stairs. We got a uh, uh, big fungus, fungus path. I don't know. This just looks. Uh, doesn't look super great. You got a bad feeling about this? <laughs> I do now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what if that baby needs our help? Or what if there's something in the other room? <laughs> he just walks can't, away. can't we always come back so that other? We're so close to the baby. I want to know what it is. <laughs> And then go on ahead. Oscar pushes ahead. All right, yeah, go, Oscar. <laughs> just shoves Hello. Nora out of the, the way. Two, the two parents <laughs> or parental figures of the group. <laughs> Here, baby. I don't know where the fuck Match is going, dude. He wants to go back to the fungus path. Oh, oh see, I'm this saying is the this. dumbest U turn like... he's pulled to date. Agree. Was... I mean, there's also this. <laughs> there's this. Wait, didn't look oh, at. those were stairs. Okay. I could smell his over the far. <laughs> I was trying to find matched on the screen for a second. I was like, where'd he go? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> I he run up the stairs and I'm like, hey, I'm here. I'm <laughs> he booked it out of town. If you're faster than the DM, he, nothing bad. <laughs> nothing yeah. bad. Yeah, you, you, get a, you get away. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I loot the whole dungeon. No enemies fight me and I get away. Ah, oh, damn it. My one weakness. <laughs> I'm still but a man. Um, so, uh, yeah, what is what is everyone doing? I'm following I guess, Oscar. I guess they're all going baby. in. I'm going to fucking creep behind in the back. Yeah, I'm going to... Do I see anything in this corridor? Is this what my extent? Uh, yeah, so it uh, continues to turn uh, right over there. Is this a dead end? No, I, uh, that's a dead end. Yes, yes. Okay. Cool. I thought I was yeah. like, I thought I was like, yeah, there's opening over here. You're like, is it a dead end? And I was like... I don't think I said no, yeah. that. <laughs> March is on. It's a, just an absolute heavy, heavy fungus that you kind of have to you, you, you kind of push and squeeze through a little bit. It kind of crunches a little on your feet, but you're doing you're doing all right. Okay. The crying all right. gets heavier. All right. I need everyone to stop what they're doing right now. Oh boy. Uh, I was about to drink a sip of water. <laughs> stop. Not allowed. Not allowed. <clears throat> um, you come into what appears to be just this absolutely just giant huge room. And it just opens up and you just hear again the sound of a baby crying. Uh, I'm ready for this, I promise. 
as you this look is very uh this is very Margo's wet nurse right now dude uh you as you walk in you see a baby uh wrapped around uh some of the fungus hmm. wrapped around the yeah, baby's like, hugging it it's like it's like in the fungus a little bit kind of like yeah what do you the fungus is, like the fungus the fungus. is around the baby or the baby's around the fungus it's a the, the fungus is around the baby excuse me okay <laughs> uh oh end of the room uh something about this give me a bad feeling but he oscar's his feet stop here he's not going any close to that baby as you see the fungus begin to swallow up the baby. Um, and as it does so, you see the fungus actually begin to form around as this giant maw closes around the baby itself, visibly shake it. It looks like it actually kind of like snaps and breaks a little bit. You can hear the sound of some sort of shifting um, as a giant fungus like entity um emerges forward from from the pile of fungus ah! i hide behind the mushroom okay we're leaving <laughs> <laughs> we can't do this in every dungeon guys we can't just leave <laughs> we, oscar we can't leave that baby's clearly still alive uh, everyone. Uh, I'm starting to think there isn't a baby. Everyone, point, every, Nora. <laughs> everyone, roll Maybe, initiative. If I was a fungus, I would probably have a baby for a trap. Also. Well, it's working. <laughs> Boss baby. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get this out. This music is good. My stress levels are rising. Bro, I love this remix, dude. Yeah, this is sick. Drop the fucking beat. Uh, everyone roll a wisdom save as well from what they just witnessed. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. No. Boopy. Boopy. Uh, oh God. Uh, Nora and Match, yeah. uh -huh. you each take four points of stress. Yowla. Nora, you're you at, at Lawman. Nora, you're at ten at stress, nine. and yeah, Match is at nine. Uh, okay. all right. So, so you guys have entered the room. Let me go ahead and reveal the area you're in right now. Uh, all right, match, you're up. Oh. <laughs> uh, hmm. yeah. <laughs> I run into the room and mid distance. Yeah. I sprint over here, 30 feet. Okay. Uh, and then I use my short bow. Shoot that big fungo. <laughs> Big fungo. And sorry, I'm not used to it. Uh, the it hits, it strikes. You see it kind of Bow. like Whoa. You, you, you see it kind of writhe a little bit. Eight points of uh, piercing damage. Dude, I can actually see the little baby you squeeze into I was the mouth of the boss. Just looking at that. What the fuck? Yikes. If only we had some sort of fire to burn this thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, n uh, and now it goes. Oh boy. Oh it, lo it looks around and it looks <laughs> over at uh, what just uh, shot and it was a uh, match. And you just see a, a spore, like a, like a, like this heavy spore just shoots out, uh, attacking match. Uh, does an 11 hit? Is not. All right, Nora, you're Gosh. next. All right. Oh, I... four shot in front of these Act One. Very cool. 
Just saying. Oh, thank you. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna move 30 feet as well over here. Um, and I am going to Eldritch Blast. But can I? So with my new invocations, mm -hmm. can I make that an agonizing blast and add your charisma modifier to the damage? To yes. Yes, damage? you can. Hell fucking yeah! I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. Does it 11 hit? Uh, it just, yeah, it just bounces off the thick oh, hide. Man. Um, all right. You begin to see this thing just shuffle deep into the, uh, into the fungus. And it, uh, yeah, it shoots another spore. Uh, right over at Oscar. Oh boy. Does a 15 hit Oscar. Uh, yes. It deals two poison damage. Okay. Uh, next up is Morton. Uh, <laughs> hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20. Frick, I'm going in, baby. Time to show Oscar that this puppy can fur. <laughs> Gonna... Oh my god. <laughs> Time to make dad proud. I mean yeah. Oscar. I mean I'm doing this for myself. I mean all of my party mates are father and mother figures to me. Gonna... <laughs> Except for Matt. Matt can die. Um, <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna go in there and throw my big old hook. I'm gonna hit him with the hook. Alright? So let's see what this thing this puppy can do. Um, okay. Oh, Bloodhook's bow no longer has... Oh, wait, there it goes. Wait, did that work? Are you... Uh, Bloodhook's hook doesn't have any stats on it anymore. I don't know what happened to it. It's because you broke it. I didn't do anything. No, just, uh... Yeah, it does. Just, uh, click, click the attack. I... Just click the attack for... It's just blank for me. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you have to ah. refresh. That uh, hit? That hits. Go sure. For 10 slashing damage. As you just see, yeah, okay. you chunk in, you kind of see the, um, the, as you attack, there's a deep hook into the the top of, uh, atop this thing. The maw just opens up as you see the baby just wriggling a little bit. And the, uh, the baby itself lets out a, a loud cry to you. Uh... Uh, please? Where am I? Ignore the attack. Oh, ignore that. Um, go ahead and make a wisdom save, please. Or take three, uh, three stress damage. Yes, you. Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, you take three points of stress damage as you see the, the, the wriggling form of a, of a small child. This is a stressful situation. This is yeah, indeed a, a stressful situation. All right. Next up is Oscar. Um, God, what does Oscar do here? Uh... You've also unlocked Wild Shape. I was reading it right now. <laughs> Very useful. It says seen before. Can we? Are we? Can we just pull from his old life? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Let's do let's Wild do Shape. Uh, what are you transforming into? A bear. I mean, is there like any other thing that you would wild shape into? <laughs> Just like in general. Jeez, DM's coming at you, dude. No, 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 no. Sorry, I don't. No, I didn't mean it like that. I was just literally. Is it a Jeez. black, a uh, black or a brown bear? Um, black. Shaking my head, dude. Black bears are weaker. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> They're smaller and, and more aggressive, but the grizzly bear, which is a brown bear, is uh, larger in size and has. Uh, All right, find a grizzly bear, dude. Let's do a grizzly bear. <laughs> <just for that laughs> <kid. laughs> Jeez, got back seated. 
<laughs> Bear choice. Uh, you I'm watch. Just, you watch as Oscar uh, transforms into this this big brown yeah, bear. He drops his staff, and he you see a hair sprout on his arms and his neck. His face elongates, and he roars and becomes a bear before your eyes. He didn't give you any warning. He doesn't really know how he did himself. I uh, I don't know. I think Matt would be pretty stressed out about that. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, he turned into a bear! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead and roll a, uh, a wisdom save. You, you keep it under control. You keep it under control. What the? Why, what, what, what happened to him? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, basic. What do you, oh, I can't, I can't give you control over this for some reason. I have to make a. Oh, I have to make a copy. All right, that's what I do. That's right. Uh, I'm just gonna look for bear. Bear picture. Bear picture. Bear picture, not bear fur. Uh, yeah, okay, here you go. Oh god, that is. Yeah, I like that. Bear boy. Bear boy. And I'm gonna give it control. Uh, whoop. all right. You got control of the bear. You you bear now. Me bear now. You bear now. Okay. That was my action, right? So, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just I, adding you to the initiative start, roll. Start and, charging at the creature. Uh oh boy. Okay, so you're kind of like surrounding them right now. Um. You got your hit points. You like you figured out how it all wor works, um, Sam. Uh. Let me do a bit of reading. Feel free to continue. Okay. Uh, the thing acts. It does a tendril and it lashes out its fungus like tendrils um, over at Morton. Oh my god. It's fine. It's not instant death, but it is a lot of damage. Nine points of damage to Morton. Ah. <sighs> Buddy, no. <laughs> Down to 13. Um, 13, okay. That's a familiar sting. <laughs> uh, Match, you're up. Brett, do you want me to, like, look up a... A bear sheet for 5e? Uh, this? yeah. Yeah, go for it. Bears are usually what druid is usually the druids go to for wild shape. Because they're just so good. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, I'll walk or, you know, move here and mm -hmm. just short. But that's all I got at this range, brother. Uh, that hey. hits. Uh, six points of piercing damage begins to you see the form kind of like quiver a little bit um, as the maw just kind of closes a little more uh, onto it um, onto the onto like the, the form of the baby uh, it begins to actually open up wide almost as if the top of the head unhinges and you can just kind of see this little baby uh, wriggling around. And uh, the maw then crushes down on what <gasps> appears to be the baby. Oh my God. Letting out one final wail. I need everyone to make a wisdom save. Oh my God. Ma crush baby. Holy fuck. Uh, Nora's good. Match is yeah, not Nora good. Nora shrugs it off. Oscar's <laughs> not good. Yeah, fuck a baby. Morton's dude. not good. All right, guys. Uh, Everyone who witnessed that and failed the wisdom save takes 11 points of stress. Oh my God. Oh, Wait, no. you roll it or we roll it? Oh, you roll it. Yeah, I rolled it. Oh uh, 
Oh no. Okay, so this is this is uh uh looking at the stress real quick. I'm at 16. Oh my god. I'm 20. Uh oh. for Nora, you're at 21 stress. <gasps> I need you to make a wisdom save. Your heart begins to pound out of your chest and you feel your other form begin to leave you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you calm down a little bit. You keep the form, but your heart still races. Um, match. I need you to do the same thing. Make a wisdom save. <sighs> you keep you keep your form. You maintain, but your heart continues to race. You're not sure how much more you can take. Uh, next up is Nora. Okay. Um, I'm gonna come into range here. And I'm going to try to Eldritch Blast again, uh, just in a state of raw emotion and just panic. Mm -hmm. 23 to hit. That hits. All right. And plus three onto that for my Charisma modifier, so seven points of damage. Uh, the form is, is cracking a little bit on the, on the fungus creature. You just see what appears to be just ooze left over from the the child that was inside oh my god um let's see uh it's he's gonna lash out his tendrils over at you again morton uh does a 12 hit nope <sighs> all right morton you're next uh, Morton is going to shrug off all this stress and kind of try to iron himself because, I mean, he's already, in his mind, he's already been through the worst of it with the, this same hook that he's wielding now, and he's going to try to steady himself in that knowledge and then attack with said hook. So let me do that. 23. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 13 damage, and I have to go back because I just totally realized I accidentally did damage. Nora, you're fine. You were your 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 stress levels was fine. Oh, okay. I go I goofed up. You're fine. I I mix up the wisdom saves, so real oh, quick. Good. So yeah, you're good. You just saw what happened, and I forgot who I replaced. So I'm just gonna say whoever I accidentally gave a pass to, um, and you keep the pass because I goofed up. All right, so you do 13 points of slashing damage to the creature, and at that point, you begin to see it shake. The, the top of its head begins to, at this point, bubble around and shake. When I see that, I kick in its overdrive, and I activate my freaking, uh, what's it called? Second wind, and I do it all again. Okay. Fuck yeah. Um, so I attack again. It misses. I'm embarrassed. You take one stress damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> you take one stress damage. You're at 17 now. Okay. Um. And uh, but you actually see its head almost as if it's about to it's about to burst, almost like it's about to explode. Cool. Um, with the, all the fungus that you've seen. Oh wait! If it's exploding, I'm, I'm I leave. <laughs> Oh, okay. there it is. There, 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 it, is. The there it is. Oh my god. Five, oh my god. Dead. <laughs> you see it I'm bubbling. Out. It's I'm about out. to explode. Okay, cool. I just, cool. I just like Tuck Cracky was like, oh great. And I'm just like, this is not gonna be good. <laughs> um Oscar. You see the head is beginning to to bubble as if something's about to explode from the top of his head. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. He does like a He's like, it does like a bad double take where he sees Morton start running and he looks back and he's like, oh, and then he <laughs> 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 runs off the Morton. <laughs> feels good that dude. He feels nice and limber and young as a bat. <laughs> oh no, he's, he is going to say a bear. He is a furry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, match. I love that bread, that bear turn. Uh, match. It's your turn. I'm going to pop this bubble boy. Oh my God. Mad Reaper lad dives in. <laughs> no, Head first with bow. Jesus. Oh no, nothing. Miss. Fuck. 
Uh, you're shooting? Uh, that misses, yeah. Do I get double attack with bow? No, you don't. Okay. Um, if me not hit, me run. <laughs> me run, teehee. Uh, Nora? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run over here as well. Well, somebody's gotta pop it. Oh, you don't think he's gonna pop? He's he's like a fucking popcorn bag right now, right? Like he's about to explode. I don't think he needs us to push him over. All right, it is now yeah. fun. Uh, <laughs> it, it's now the creature's turn. Let me just try and hello. Do I link abilities? Can I link abilities? Oh. Sorry, I'm trying to. All right, I'll just type it out then. Uh, he, you see him at his head just completely just explode out uh, in a 10 foot area, Oof. dealing 3d6 plus one poison damage to anyone that's in the area. No one's in the area, so you just this giant eruption of, of violent fungus uh, comes out. And uh, as you just kind of like looking at it at that point, you hear it. What? Ooze and fungus begins to form as it starts to gestate another baby. What? Fungal baby! Fungal baby. What the fuck? It was always a fungal baby. Uh, it also takes 20 points of damage from the explosion. There's no such thing as babies. There's no such thing as babies? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, Morton. Hmm. You're next. You see now at the top of it is completely blown out as you just see like this ooze and fungus begin to form on top of it as another wriggling form is coming out. Oh. Uh... Morton looks to everyone else and like kind of mouths the words like uh okay and then <laughs> and at the end, he mouths uh okay I guess he says that he jumps in and he's gonna try to bury his hook into the form of the baby Oof. uh you get advantage on him right now okay Ooh. we have we have entered act two he is currently helpless uh, the 23 hits. And since you use a melee damage, it counts as a critical hit. Ooh. Nice. So, uh, what's, uh, what's the maximum of all those rolls? Uh, well, that was 31. Oh, the maximum? Yeah. Not just double? Oh, double. Yeah, double. Sorry. Yeah, so, so 31. 31? Okay. You land the hook into it, and you just, yeah, you hear the cry. He's still, uh, still going, though. Do you do anything else? I don't have a second second wind, I don't believe, right? Uh, no. Then that is all I can do. All right. Um, it's its turn again. Uh, as you see from the top, a small fungal ooze-like baby crawls out of it. Mm. Yuck. And uh, let me go ahead and roll its initiative. Uh, it goes next. Ooh. Rolling a 1d6. Okay, it's good. You see Put that baby it... baby in the corner. <laughs> you see it, it kind of begins to, to qu uh, quake and cover around a little bit um, before leaping onto Morton and, and starting to fight oh. it. Oh my god. I have a bad life. Uh, oh my god. The 18, 18 hits. Uh, four points of damage to Morton. Okay, I'm on nine health. Nine health. Oh, Jesus. That, that's your. Um, all right, Oscar, you're up. Eat baby. I consume baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Uh, yeah, so I got a Mario attack of a bite and a claw. Okay. Um, which is... Does an 11 hit? It does. Okay. It's soft and squishy. Six damage, and then... Uh, you kill it. It just splatters right Fuck there. Yes. All right, cool. It's uh, good. Uh, uh, I will make a second attack on the... I'll throw the claw at the, the big boy. Uh, you get advantage against it. Uh, that 22. hits. Mm -hmm. And it's a critical hit. Do I roll? I rolled damage twice, right, for a crit? Uh, yes. Without the modifier the second time? Correct. Damn. Okay. 24 damage. Wow. Um, it seems to be on its uh, a last limb of life. It's its turn again. Grizzly rears up on its hind legs and just starts tearing at the at the plant. Um, you see the plant begin to to form another creature, another baby. Matches your kill turn. The source. Yeah. Stop mm. time match. It's too far, oh, Stan. Never mind. <laughs> God, I would love this. <laughs> Wait, what is three? I get here, and again, just this is a bow fight for me. <laughs> That hits. Ooh. That hits. Nice. Uh, with the final <laughs> pierce of the arrow, <laughs> you see just the, the 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 baby give one final just cry as it just goes back into the fun fungus form, and you just kind of see it deflate and then just falls over uh, falls over dead. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, Always it, last hit. Um, as it collapses into the fungus pile, um, you see a lot of the fungus in the area begin to clear. And a Morton uh, will kind of in a stupor. Oh, sorry, I interrupt you. Yeah. Um, and you see a stairwell uh, descend further and deeper into the crypt. Hmm. Uh, uh, Morton but... will rifle through uh, the remains of the fungal pod kind of in disbelief either trying to find a baby or whatever was it the source of it like he's he's kind of he's fucked up again <laughs> he's just like <laughs> looking for answers right now um, as you dig into the, the, the fungal pod um, you see a small broken music box hmm uh, I'll pick it up and examine it. I won't open it. <laughs> I'm not, not going to do it, DM. That's it how liches show up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to fucking do it. Um, you begin to examine. What's what's everyone else doing? Glaring at Morton. <laughs> My <laughs> kill. My Table's turn. <laughs> Is a bear. Oscars. Hi, yep. Oscar <laughs> things. Me bad. Um, Nora's gonna rush over, hoping that there's some chance that that baby survived, and just realize there's nothing left, and get really taken aback. You continue to cleave your way uh, through the crypt, but the sound from the stairwell you hear. A, a light murmur, a, a light chanting. You're quickly approaching the cult, but at what a cost. And so ends today's cost session of of, of 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 our horror D and D game. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I like the house. I like the house. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Did you have? You Claps, guys have in fun today? Claps, Claps in the chat. Claps in the chat. Ow! Ow. <laughs> uh, you guys Nobody had fun. Nobody died. 
Yeah. That was great. That was then, fucking great. That was really great. Yeah, it's not, spooky. Fucking spooky, dude. Yeah, that's why I, t I, I, I told, I told um, everyone, chat, like when I was making this monster and like what it did and what it was supposed to do, I was just typing and I just, after I finished, I was like, uh oh. I, I got a message. <laughs> I forgot this from you saying just finished next session's monster. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, was like, uh, I'm sorry. So um yeah, if you couldn't figure out um this creature, I called them um fun fun goutum, and essentially it lures in its food uh, mm. by imitating the wails of a baby. So when people oh my come God, psycho. So when people come in and see what it appears to be a baby and comes in to grab it and he then snake and eats you. Oh. Yeah. It's like a carnivorous plant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crazy. But it lures in people with the whales of a child. Yeah. So. Instead of a nice smell. Yeah. It's a nice baby. Babby. Yeah. And because yeah Match it, wants to go into the fungus room. Oh. Yeah, the one back yeah, there. Yeah, if only he shared with everyone, that would have been <laughs> useful. Well yeah. maybe maybe next session you'll you'll get the chance to see. Oh, that's the first thing we did. <laughs> That's the first fucking thing you're doing. If you guys leveled I a, up, I have a plan every session. No one yeah, died. Level up was great. Uh, everyone's stressed the fuck out right now. And, yep, uh, yeah. Great. Yeah, it might be time to, to figure Did out. Did we keep the um, charisma item? The heart? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have it right now. Cool. That's yeah. really good for warlocks. Yeah. 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 But that's, that's kind of that exchange of like, you know, do you want to keep these neat little trinkets or do you want to level up your character? You guys have to. Kind of figure that out on your own, so. Right. Um, but yeah, I had I had fun demoning you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and uh, thank you, thank you again. Heck yeah. Thank you, brother. Um, yeah. I always love me some good D and D. Uh, yeah. One of you, one of you guys are what? What? What's everyone doing tonight? So chat can can check out where to where to go next. I'm pretty sure imminently we're gonna be. Booting up some seven days to die and uh, mm, seven days to die, maybe. Doing the next the next horde week. All right. So that's gonna be happening in a few minutes here. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and thank chat and thank all of our any subs or and all that uh, right now. And yeah, guys, thank you again. We'll uh, we'll be back next week with uh, episode three of four when you guys get to go deeper into the crypts and. Finally, see some cultists. Let's see Only what's one going episode on. Left. Well, after, well, two what? episodes. Only That's two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to hype wow. it up, Brett. I was trying to give him, you know. You gave him a lie. <laughs> the season yeah. finale. <laughs> can the head? Can the head coach just be M Morty's actual dad? Oh my god! Or his mom? It seems like his mommy issues. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> I have a healthy relationship with my mother. <laughs> mother figure, please help me. <laughs> you always are a nosy brat, says his mother. Oh yeah. no. All right. all right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll I'll see Thank you all. You. I'll see y'all soon, okay? Bye bye. Right. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out today. It was a an extremely a fun session. Chat, did you guys have fun? Did you all enjoy yourselves? I hope you all did. Streams really coming together. Yeah, it's uh oh boy. Oh Jesus Christ, chat. It's woof. Yeah, when I made that creature, I was like, oh, I don't know. And I, I showed my my wife the art. I was like, is this is this creepy enough? Like I actually had like create a bunch of things so that there's actually something in the mouth and oh boy it was it was it was it was scary it was it was very scary but it it went very uh well first D and dc machine uh gotta go back and see it all now yeah episode uh, if you haven't seen the last episode make sure you guys uh check it out you know um and do that and uh yeah i hope you guys had uh, a great time let me go and do some quick thanks real quick it looks like we got six subscribers today thank you so much for all the sub love uh i'm gonna go ahead and just say thanks to everyone that came in real fast and then we'll we'll uh we'll wrap up we'll we'll wrap up the stream so um first and foremost 8-bit zig thank you for gifting a sub uh to Bree bun 
Uh, bot's not here. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Oh, I restarted. Yeah, I restarted the computer before this, so I forgot to turn on bot. I'm sorry about that. And I was too focused on DMing. Uh, 8 bit Zig, thank you for gifting a tier one sub uh, to Braybun. Wellington Skellington, thank you so much for the 80 bits. Communist Seal, thank you so much uh, for gifting, uh, subscribing a tier one for 13 months. Of course, Marie Strippin and Kraken, thank you so much for the hosts. If you guys are over there from the channels, welcome. And if you liked what you saw, hit that follow button. We'll also be streaming tomorrow. Uh, Average Sad Boy with the Twitch Prime sub, Pog, dude. Thank you so much for that twitch prime baby new sub new sub new sub uh edo P pity party uh thank you for resubscribing with twitch prime uh for two months that that twitch prime chat have you have you heard about twitch prime i i'm not gonna sell it i i feel like i don't i i feel like i don't have to you know uh don't don't have to at all chat knows what it is <laughs> uh, anyways uh shane dude thank you so much for the rating party man i really appreciate it. some dropper resubscribing with the twitch prime dude thank you so much for that bit love man uh sun dropper thank you so much for the twitch prime sub uh for five months um also elf king crow dude thank you so much for the tier two sub for 28 months pog much appreciated man appreciate the love uh yo firestorm uh fim thank you so much for the tier one sub for two months that's right god i absolutely love it appreciate the sub love and dreed uh dreed shard 14 thank you so much for the 121 bits i appreciate all the bit love i appreciate all the sub love the brand new follows you guys are amazing uh we are going to be back tomorrow either around 4 or 5 p.m i really want to try and get to a 4 p.m schedule i know schedule's been kind of all over the place uh this month um i do want to solidify a schedule but between D and D, actually, it's just D and D. With all the D and D sessions I do, I have a couple of late night sessions I, I do now, and tonight is one of those. So, uh, thank you so much for for coming and hanging out. And if you're just if you're watching and you're lurking, and that's all you can afford to do, I appreciate you very very much. And if you go that extra mile and subscribe and cheer and Twitch Prime, then boy howdy. Uh, thank you so much for that as well. It, it lets me do what I do on a daily basis, and I appreciate your love and support. So, All right, guys. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll probably join the boys with the little seven day to seven, seven, is it seven days to die? Seven days to die. Something like that, you know? Uh, and then episode three is going to be us diving into the one once more the preseason finale pog uh i don't know where we're playing tomorrow i i actually i don't know where we're playing tomorrow I, I we might we might do welcome to the game too a lot of people seem to like that we might go ahead and give that a peek tomorrow um and uh yeah i don't know it's at games are all over the place so we've just been having a lot of fun all right guys thank you so much for watching appreciate you all love you all very much uh, I'm just going to end stream because I don't know who's doing what. If anyone's starting anything, I'm just going to end stream. I think that's I think that's what we're going to do um, instead of dropping a host because I wanted to. I, I want to make sure you guys get to wherever you guys came from, wherever you guys want to go. Uh, Sun Dropper, sorry, I could only join near the end, but it was awesome, dude. Thank you so much for joining, man. Hope you have a good night. Hey, Brett, I was listening at work. I hope you enjoyed yourself, no Pro Show. Uh, scared uh, uh, enig Enigma with once again the hmm. We can get some Brett to hmms in chat. You know, you really gotta, you really gotta think like, what, what are we, what are we, what's, what's, what, what are we even, what are we doing? What can I get some hmms? Like any hmms, Brett to hmms, just blank hmms. We gotta do a deep think right now. You know what I mean, chat? We gotta uh, pound, just get hit that head right there. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh boy, improbable wobble. Give yourself a big thonk. Uh, yeah. All right, chat. I'm gonna wrap up. Uh, just cause I know you all came from various chats, and I don't wanna. I feel bad if. 
with all the nice hosts if I just then took you and was like, and now you're going to this guy. Because uh, everyone's going live here soon. So make sure you, uh, I think Sam, I think Sam and Lawman are both going to be streaming tonight. I don't know if Kraken is. He's, he's, he's doing something special. I'm, I can't. Uh, Brett, always sell out. Always. Yes. Uh, I'm also, uh, I'm selling out. I don't know what that means, but I'm, all, I'm, I'm selling out right now. Four more subs uh, and I'll end stream. <laughs> Four more subs and I'll end stream. Uh, I'm kind of waiting to see if, if my boys uh, Lawman or, uh, or Strippin are uh, going live. So I could just take you over to one of them. But if they're not going live soon, I might wrap up, you know. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all hanging out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the the D, &D session. I definitely want to do more D, &D games in the future uh, with other people and guests as well. I, I definitely have an idea. I'm kind of thinking of a head, head idea for a survival winter game that I think would be really cool. Um, maybe in December. Uh, honestly, I would love to do like a, a game like every other month, like these little full min, little short mini series with like a theme. I, I, I really I, I really like how this this game is kind of shaped up, you know. Um, as you can tell, I definitely am the the kind of person that like likes to put a little game elements, a little game design into their streams or into their into their D and D games with with you know like you got the repair stuff and you got all the the neat little treasures. So I definitely want to do that. Poopy D and D sounds awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. All right, chat. With that. Uh, I think that's it. I know I said I was wrapping up, but now I'm I'm serious. I'm I'm wrapping up. Uh, none of the boys are going live, so we're 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 closing it. We're closing shop. So thank you so much, guys. Once again, love your faces. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna try for 4 p.m. Might be 5 p.m. Have yourselves show or shut it down. Sam is online. All right, go to him. <laughs> See you later. Just, just head on, head on over to him. All right. Uh, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Bye, 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 bye. Uh, bye. Whoa, bye. <coughs> bye, everybody. What happened?